Hi! How's it going, guys? What's it? Ah, uh, yes. Hoimer, welcome, welcome. I see you in chat, even though you haven't said anything. I'm, I'm stalking you guys. Oh, 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 oh. oh, stupid headphones. Stop it, please. I know I just ordered a new replacement, but please. Please just hold out for a few more days. Okay, anyway, hi! <laughs> uh, we are going to be starting more indie horror games today. I guess I cannot use controller for this one. Okay. I was hoping. I was hoping, but it looks like it is not the case. Anyway, we are starting with Go Go Hamster Chef. Um, it's supposed to be one of those like N64 retro horror games. Got that vibe going on. What's that look? Oh, it's so cute. And then it just turns absolutely horrible. Isn't that exciting? I think the audio might be up too high. Um, as always, please let me know if the audio levels are too high or whatever. I'm just going to try turning it down a little bit right now. Are you sure you want to delete your progress and start a new game? Yes. Oh, it's so cute. Do do do! Another day, another dinner. I know. I'll make a simple salad. I've got all the ingredients right here on the floor. Why are they on the floor? Why are they on the floor, sir? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so very Harvest Moon. Like, N64 Harvest Moon. Oh my gosh, I love it. Pick up, pick up. Yummy ground food! But with a little preparation, this can be a gourmet dish. I hope so. I'll just cut this up at the cutting board. And grab the cheese. Can't sleep with active orders. Deposit lettuce. Open storage. Okay, so we've got our lettuce and our carrot. What if I'm on the carrot? Can I... De oh, I can just deposit it. Okay. Use the stove. I don't think we need to use the stove yet. Deep fryer. Okay, we'll just use the cutting board. Everybody knows the first part of using a cutting board is to choose a recipe from the recipe list. I did not know that, but uh, thank you. Recipe list? I'm, I'm trying to say Q. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Are we just doing chopped carrot, I guess? Alright, Veggie, you're gonna get it! I just have to press the correct buttons. Oh no. My weakness. <laughs> I learned my cutting technique from my uncle, the great chef Stinky Foot. Stinky Foot, and then he uses ground ingredients. I'm sure this can't go wrong at all. I can hear his voice in my head even now. He used to tell me, now cut up the other ingredient from the recipe list. Okay. Chop, 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 chop. My ingredients are prepped. Now it's stove time. Oh boy. <laughs> that salads are made in stoves, don't you know? Well, at least they're calling themselves out on it. Okay. What if we did the deep fryer? Oh, well, Chef Stinky Foot once told me with different appliances you can make different things! Now I can finish my simple salad! <laughs> Why? Why do you need a stove for a salad? <laughs> okay, simple salad. Voila! One simple salad! A humble meal for a humble hamster. My mouth is watering. Bon appetit! Me! Okay. Uh, can we eat it? Ring ring, it's me, Hopper, from down the road! I 
I'm just scooting by my way home and smelled something good cooking in here. Actually, my grandpa Hot Pop is feeling a bit under the weather. <laughs> That's how would restore his fighting Irish spirit. Could I take it off your hands for you? I can tell by your stunned silence that the answer is you betcha. Ah, uh, yes. He's like, mmm, I made this delicious salad with my ground ingredients and now I'm going to eat it and then somebody calls and it's like, mmm, that's that smells really good. Can I have that? Oh, oh, that silence. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the stuffing. Yes. Well, I'll be waiting from my house for you. Bye. Wow. And then they want delivery too. Wow. I was kind of jazzed about eating this cell myself. Oh well, it's good to be neighborly, I suppose. I'll take my scooter over to him. I parked it just up the road. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel... Okay. Okay, there's a scooter. Okay, so it's like inverted looking controls. Look at that little sign. It's us. Oh my gosh. I love these animations. They're so cute. Okay, ride the scooter. Now I'll choose some paint and put my hog and get there in no time. To get to Harper's house, I just need to follow the indicator. Whee! We oh, go back, back. Oh, okay. Are we just gonna spin cookies? Yeah! Look how cute. Hello. Give simple salad or talk. We're gonna talk to him first. Hello, old hello, old friend. When are we going to play bocce ball again? Y'all got any flies I could eat? Hop Pop's been talking my ear off. I gotta stand outside to get some peace. That sounds rough, I guess. If you ever drop anything in the river, let me know. I can fetch it for you. I had to fetch Benjamins. Oh, Benjamin, like bunny, cute. I had to fetch Benjamin's phone the other day. He sure is clumsy. We're going to get to know each other a little better. But when we get to know each other a little better, I'll tell you a secret. Wow, my, my autocorrect is not doing a good job. Whatever happened to that cute mouse who moved out a few years ago? Nothing you need to worry about. Totally shipped you too. <gasps> I don't need to settle down with anyone. Me and Hot Pop are happy taking care of each other. Hello, old friend. We're gonna repeat. Okay, yeah. You brought it! Hot Pop will love this. Having a friend like you in the village sure is swell. Huh, even though that was a huge inconvenience. I feel inspired to use my cooking skills to help more people. Maybe I should start my own food delivery service. Yes, yes. I've given this a lot of thought. I'll do it. I don't need to eat today. I am stuffed with entrepreneurial spirit. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't need food. Food is for the week. Oh my gosh, it's very game nighttime. Did I take too long? I'll head back to bed. No. I'll head to bed and get started my new business in the morning. Oh boy. Now how soon do we die? I mean, uh... Wow, 
Oh, is it just a lot slower at night? <gasps> is that a ground potato? I found a ground potato, guys! It's not scary, we're just in the dark. Is there any more ground food? I guess we probably shouldn't take the scooter down to the house, huh? Enter the kitchen! He lives and sleeps in his kitchen. Deposit potato. Sleep till morning. Mm-mm, good. Look, my first real order popped up on my phone. I can always look there if I need to remember what I'm making. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a text. Um, I had some some membership cards for for a garden that I that I gave to um well that I let my family members borrow because they live a lot closer to it than I do and and they just asked like hey do you actually want these back they're expired I'm like no no Okay, there we go. What? Okay. And sorry, I just got one more text. Uh, Owl just saw a van that has a mobile gym for dogs. Like, when you can't properly exercise your dog, these guys can be hired to do it for you. Well, that's... that's weird. That's cool. Huh. I'll respond to him later. Still, like, a mobile gym for dogs. That's pretty interesting. I don't have any more ingredients for it, though. I bet I can find more ingredients sitting around the village. Well, we did find potato already. How do we... how do we look at our orders? Oh, okay, it's middle click. Deliver simple salad to Benjamin. Time to go look for those potatoes. And the scooter's right where we left it. Oh, I was so slow. Oh no, scooter. Oh boy, carrots. I wonder how many things we can hold. Ten? Three... No, nine. Okay, so we can hold nine ingredients at once. Well, I guess technically we did find enough. Okay, looks like the scooter is really only useful for on pavement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good. We didn't quite get stuck yet. Hello, Benjamin. Okay, we are not going in the river. Oh. Is that more salad by somebody's house? Can I break into somebody's house? How long will it be until somebody wants meat? Like a delicious rabbit stew. I mean, this is a super cute little game. I'm sure nothing can ever go wrong here, right? Right? Everything's so peaceful, we can even just leave our scooter sitting out and nobody will take it. So are we gonna get paid at all for these? He holds them in his mouth, okay. Mmm, my mouth is stuffed. I can spit these out in that chest over there! Mmm, sanitary. 
Ingredients in my chest can still be used in appliances. Well, that explains that sound effect that... One. Okay, well... I guess we're making more chopped carrot. And then chopped lettuce. And then we go over to the stove and make another simple salad. Because that's definitely a completely normal thing to make. Okay. And we have a simple salad for Bunny! Stored in our cheeks! Because that's... a totally normal thing to do! Yeah! Oh, more lettuce. I didn't see that one. Can I break into this house? Hello? Okay. Oh, is that a little bear over there? Oh, I see more potatoes and stuff. Let's just pick these up while we're over here. Hello, bear! You look cute. Are you going to want meat because you are carnivore? What are you doing here? This area's off limits. It's for your own good. Beat it. Beat it. Okay. He doesn't like us, I guess. What was that? Oh, it's a little roadblock. Is this one that's where the village is safe, but then anything outside of it is hyper dangerous? Is that what we're dealing with here? I guess. Oh, this house is empty. Who's gonna be here later? Okay, well... Oh wait, there's another carrot. We're gonna go grab that carrot. We pick up all the things. Oh, look at how cute her face is! It's just like, oh, I'm so full! Okay. Uh, Bun Bun lives over there, so we have to go take the other bridge. Cause I... I mean Bunjamin, not Bun Bun. Bunjamin. Well, while we're at home, we're going to just go ahead and deposit the other ingredients. Because you never know. You never know when you'll just pick up more. Okay. Oh, Benjamin, where's my scooter? There's my scooter. Okay. Oh, Benjamin! Benjamin, would you like a salad that has been masticating in my mouth? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I suppose it's close enough to what I ordered. Take care now. That's how the order's done, Dustin. It's gonna be night soon. Let's head home. Thank you for coming all the way up here. Do you think I will win the best garden award this year again? I don't even know who else would challenge me. Are you here to enjoy the view? It's quite stupendous, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's fine. I was researching remote control security gates. Doesn't it sound wonderful? Shutting out the riffraff. Who, who would be the riffraff? You sure talk to me a lot. What are you? Obsessed with me, maybe? The feeling is not mutual, I'm afraid. Here, let me just blind you with my light while we keep talking. That's enough, hamster. Scurry on home. What? I don't even get a cute name. Okay, fine. Whatever. I can't even enjoy the view now. 
Whee! Okay. <gasps> apples? Can I get apples from that tree? No, okay. I can't. I can't adjust the, the view settings. It throws me off quite a bit. It doesn't even have like cute nighttime music. It's all just silent. And then into the safety comfort of the kitchen. Well, I guess we'll go to sleep. Because what else are we going to do? Two more orders today! Huh, Harper wants me to make him fries. I think I can make those with the deep fryer. But I might need to find some more ingredients around the village. I did find plenty of ingredients though. Okay, so cutting board. Is there really diced potato that we need? Yeah, okay. They just want diced potato, not like julienne potato. Okay, well, we need one chopped carrot anyway. We're just salad. And then a lettuce. Also for the salad. And then diced potato. Okay, and then the deep fryer. I can make fries. I guess we just shimmy it around. And then we make another simple salad in the stove. Because where else would you make a salad? Okay. Ah, oh, so cute. So cute, so precious. I have no idea how long this game is. You know what? Before before we head out, I just want to look at the different ingredient things and just see if any of the any of them are non-vegetarian. Carrot stew, carrot shroom stew. Okay, not yet. And the other only other one I saw was onion rings. Okay. I think there's gonna be more ingredients out yet. Oh, you know, we're probably gonna have to go into like the forest in order to get the mushrooms. We're gonna have to find a way past the blockade. Hello! Bad Paps, be talking my ear off. I gotta stand up so I can get some peace. Uh huh. Hey, man, what's this? I believe I ordered a fries. Oh, oh no. I excellent gave him the other one. Fries. Well, you brought fries. I didn't know you could make it, to be honest. You're pretty amazing. Yeah, I am. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Praise me. Praise me more. Praise me more because my chat won't. Right? Okay. Anyway. Anything else over here? Yeah, the mushrooms are probably out here. Mushrooms and onion. It looks so peaceful. How could anything go bad here? I really keep expecting somebody to turn into a serial killer. Okay, apparently I do not have the songs memorized as I thought I did. <laughs> Hello, Bun Bun! How's it going? I mean, uh, Pop... Popper, no. What was I again? But if there's no twist, then it's just a cute little game. And I would also be very, very concerned why it's under the horror tag. The quality's fallen off a bit, hasn't it? I suppose it would do. Rude. Huh. Now Benjamin wants carrot stew. I would need onions for that dish. I 
need some grow in the village, though. I should go and talk to Hopper. I bet he'll know where I can get some onions. Oh no, the day is ending. Yes, Benjamin wants carrot stew. What if these are the only two people who ever order anything? Also, I can't jump. It's very distressing. I have to interrogate you now? Onions, yeah, I know where to find onions. You gotta leave the village. And there just happens to be a hole in the wall behind my house. It's usually guarded, but even a guard needs to sleep sometime. Hop Hop told me that he used to hang out back there when he was younger. Before. Anyway, you'll definitely find onions back there. But be careful. Hop Hop seems afraid of that area. Oh boy! If you ever drop a thing in the river, let me know. I can fetch it for you. Okay, here we go! You know what? I'm gonna grab the scooter and just have it at the entrance of the village. That way we can find it again much easier. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's so slow. I think it's slower than walking, but I'm not sure. Hello? Hello? No jump scares, please. Yeesh, it's dark. There's a strange static sound in the air. How well can you guys hear the, the background music right now? What music? Okay. Let me turn that up then. Oh, it's getting louder. Four onions should be enough to last me. I think we're gonna die if we stay here. I was right. <laughs> we died. The glitch got us. Okay. I used to hide in holes like this when I was a kid. My bike could still fit in if I need to, as long as my cheeks weren't too full. Those are twigs, and we're just calling it to us when we do that. I have no idea where the hole is, by the way. I've completely lost my sense of direction. Did you guys know I basically have no sense of direction in games? It's true, especially in like dark games like this. An onion. Oh no, we're dead. <laughs> okay, I think I turned the audio up too high. Let me turn that down a little bit again. Okay, we are going to try not step on twigs this time. We're just going to follow the wall, I think. So you just maybe we find... Okay, there's a hole. Is there an onion around this hole? Oh, 
What if you just hide for a little bit? Will it go past us? Also, I think it's very funny. We can still see our flashlight. Oh, wait, we kept our onion? Oh, can we just go back now? Yeah, I don't know how long we have to hide. I'm not gonna worry about it. Who cares if we die, right? We got an onion. Some more twigs. Oh yeah, another onion. Nice. Okay, another hole. I think it's behind us, so... Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, it's incredible! <laughs> Our little neck just... Just cracked. Cracked to the side. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know how long we have to hide, so again, I'm just not going to worry about it. Where are we going? I feel like we're running straight towards the sound. But it's fine. Oh, another onion. Nice. Hopefully, if we die, we can keep them. Yeah, I think we're running straight towards it. <laughs> oh no! I don't see a hole. <laughs> How am I supposed to hide if I can't find a hole? <laughs> I did. You know what? I kept all three. What do you mean you can't leave yet? You need another onion. Why do I need so many onions? I'm glad there's basically no punishment to dying. See, there's a hole back here, right? No, I already lost it. Okay, that's fine, I guess. All we have to do is find another onion before we die, right? Oh no! I had a twig! Hey, we actually found... It's missing, though! He's gonna corrupt our game! Is he actually going to walk away? Well, he went that way. Guess we'll go this way? I think it hurt us again. Excuse me, onion. We just need an onion, please. Pretty, please. We already have three. Can I get one more? One more little onion as I walk towards the monster. Pretty, please. Okay, so this is the one right in front. I don't see another onion, though. Did I accidentally bug it out? Okay, what if... What if I spit out the onion and then pick it back up? What do you mean we have to find another onion? Why do we have to find another one? Why do we need four? Seriously, why do we need so many? 
Oh. And that thing is just so close. It's just, I don't know. Okay, well, there's another hole. Not another onion. We just need to like wait till it finds us and then we hide and then they'll actually go away for a bit. It's getting loud again. Hmm. I mean, it sounds like it's over there. Whatever. If we die, who cares? We just, we need another onion, but I can't find one. Why do we have to get four onions? <gasps> oh, one more. Yay. Okay. There are four onions. That should last me a while. Time to get out of here. Okay, well, we found the fence again. Do not step on more twigs. Okay, here's a hole. Cheeks are too full to hide, okay. I mean, I guess we could just like spit out an onion if we had to hide, right? Okay, let's get out of here! Woohoo! Phew! I never knew something like that was behind the wall! I need to rest. My heart is beating so hard! Benjamin's order can wait until tomorrow! Are you ever going to eat, little guy? Okay. Let's go home. Oh, it's so slow. Okay. Yay, we made it back on the road. Now we can't see anything on the road, but we didn't make it back. That wasn't ours, right? I don't think so. Oh, no, okay. Here's our house. You know, I really feel like our flashlight's doing even worse than it was before. Yay! <laughs> Onions! Alright. Alright, we need chopped carrots, because of course we need chopped carrots for carrot stew. And diced onion. And I guess that's it. And carrot stew! Okay. I guess everything just has this. I mean, it's not like the cooking is really... They're supposed to... It's not the main draw of this game. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. It's so cute, though. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Okay, Benjamin. What are you people listening to down there? I've been hearing static sounds all through the night. Is this what you consider music these days? I want to get away from here. I want to get away from you. Stop ordering food for me then. All of you, you simpering twits. I'm feeling sick. My nose is bleeding. Is it? I I don't see the blood. Was it something you fed me? Uh, maybe it was that static monster. I don't know. You! You tried to poison me! Get away! Get away! Okay. Here, 
have your carrots too. This is mine now. Hmm. Hmm. Hopper wants a stir fry. I need some mushrooms, but they don't grow in this village either. I'll talk to Hopper again, see if he knows where they'd be. Oh boy, time for another night excursion. Too bad we couldn't get those last night. Or is Hopper gonna be dead? I mean... Oh, Hopper! Hello, good bestest friend in the wild world! He's gone! My Hoppa! I told him where you found the onions and he got so mad. I've never seen him so mad. Next thing I know, he rushed off back there. I hate to ask, but will you go look for him? He might be near the water. Please bring him back. I'm gonna shove him in my mouth. You understand that, right? Do you hear that static sound? <laughs> what is that? That sound won't stop. It feels like it's getting louder. The sound is bothering Hop Pop. He's so mad. Hop Pop is so mad. He's so mad. He won't stop screaming. When you listen really closely to the static, you can hear music. It's never appealed to me before, but I could really go for some meats. Mmm, meats. I was wondering how long it would take for somebody to want meats. Are we going to feed him frog legs? Or bunny stew? Friend, it's in my brain. It is my brain. Okay, time to go back through the wall. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't try and talk to the Mr. Bear. That was a mistake. Hop Up came out here. I hope he's okay. This place is dangerous and he's like really old. I should check for him near the water. All right, water was to the left, I'm pretty sure. Are we just ignoring the mushrooms? Thing is close enough, we need to hide. It's so staticky. Why is it getting closer? It's supposed to be getting further away. Whatever. Oh, hop hop! I've come looking for you! I've got a craving that only frog legs can satisfy. Alright, we can hear the footsteps. Oh, hop hop! Hop hop, sir! I've come looking for you. Seriously, where the heck is he? I don't think he's here. I said he was by the water, but I didn't see him. Oh, I think we got hide. It's too close. It's a little close. Hey, you're supposed to go away from me, not towards me. <sighs> it's just... That is just blatantly unfair. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? Sir, can you please move on? I'm trying to find an old frog that you probably already killed.
Can you move on, please? All right, I think we're soft locked. Please just move on. Oh, hey! I just heard a sound effect that was also used in Pumpkin Panic. Alright, you know what? If he catches us after this, I don't even care. Hop up! Oh, hop up! I'm looking for you by the water, like requested! Who the heck are you, old man? Oh, hey, another onion! I'm just not finding Hop Pop. He should be around here, but... Hmm. Any idea where he might be? We're on the edge of the water. Seriously, where the heck could it be? The things can catch us. No, oh no, our little legs can't carry us away in time. I just want to find Hop Hop. Seriously, where is he? Hop Hop! Where are you? So where the heck is that frog? Oh my gosh, mushrooms! Oh no! Hop hop! I knew it! It was dangerous out here! Poor guy! Wait a second! Are those mushrooms? Hopper said he left today, but... This body looks like it's been dead for months! Months! He's even got mushrooms growing out of him. Mushrooms. I do still need some mushrooms. I shouldn't let them go to waste. Mmm. Delicious meaty mushrooms. I'm sorry, Hop Pop. We're gonna have to leave you down here. I don't know if there's a hidey hole around here. Oh, there is. Oh my gosh, I'm so cute. No, oh, whatever. Even if we die, we'll have the mushrooms. So I'm just not gonna care. That is one nice thing about this game. <laughs> that really doesn't matter. Look at our cute little puffed out cheeks. You just barely see it from behind, but it's so precious. There we go, we got our mushrooms, we didn't even die. Did we die once? Hop up. I need to tell Hopper. Do you really think Hopper doesn't know? I hope he doesn't take it too hard. Alright, that's Hopper's house. Oh, Hopper, I'm so sorry. You're back! Oh, where's Hop Pop? No, you're mistaken. Hop Pop can't die. You don't know him like I do. He can't die. He didn't die. He'll be back. He always comes back. Just you wait. You'll see. Do you hear that static sound? What is that? The sound won't stop. It feels like skiing ladder. Okay. I think that's just repeated dialogue. <gasps> Get a cat. Alright, so how long till Benjamin just happens to go missing and 
I'll have some nice rabbit. Oh. Almost went past the house. Can't do that. We have to make a stir fry. Nani. We even found another onion. Oh boy. Ah, oh, so cute. Sleep until morning. Wow, dishes with mushrooms sure are popular today. Good thing I grabbed all of these while I was out. I just hope no one asked me where they came from. Let's get to work. Mmm, pre-masticated mushrooms. Alright, stir fried hopper and carrot shroom stewed a bunch of Mm-mm, good. Mmm, more mushroom. We just have to make a few. Then diced onion. Like, what do we need the diced potato for? Why aren't people just happy with fries? Let's see, stir fry and carrot shroom stew. Mmm. Dice onion, chop carrot, and dice mushroom. That actually sounds not bad. I like how they're all just laid out in the pan and then boom! Magic. And then stir fry? Do we? We didn't make a stir fry. Oh, diced onion, diced potato, diced mushroom. Okay, we have to make another diced onion and mushroom. In here, I thought we could prep everything at once. Okay. And then a stir fry! Oh boy! I'm not sure if I want potato in my stir fry, but you know, it's probably pretty good. Alright, back to the village where there's only two villagers. I want to talk to the bear. Where's Mr. Bear? Oh, Mr. Bear! Hello! Can I get back there? It'd be easier to gather stuff in the light. Need to hold it back! Keep, keep going. Good luck. Nani. Hello, Hopper. Let's see, we're the one who won the stir fry. Yeah. The sound is bothering Hop Hop. He's so mad. Hop Hop is so mad. He's so mad. He won't stop screaming. Ellis. I ordered this from you. Oh, okay. I believe you. I will eat this. It's never appealed to me before, but I could really go for some meat. Yeah, you said that yesterday. I'll see what I can do. I kind of like Benjamin more than you, though, even though he's super rude. Oh boy, another carrot! Who, who wants a nice little simple salad? Would that appeal to anybody? Don't you guys want just a nice little salad? Just a few potatoes maybe with it. Like just some fries. We don't need onion. Hey, Benjamin. I want to get away from here. I want to get away from you. All of you, you simpering twits. What if I give him a carrot? It's vile! Get it away from me! I only eat the best. Okay, fine. Wow, rude. Look, here's your carrot shroom stew that's also been just in my mouth. Itchy. Tasty. That's all the orders! Bye! 
Dustin. It's gonna be night soon. Let's head home. I'm feeling sick. My nose is bleeding. Would something fed me? Do you poison me? No. I just let the bad thing out. Nothing to worry about. Those onions might be contaminated. You know, we are the only one who hasn't actually eaten any of our cooking. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something... If there is something um, in the onion and mushrooms that actually do something really bad to them. Okay, I just really want to see what happens. If we're completely full, oh, it's so cute. It's so precious. <gasps> I love him. I love our little boy. Although we have had everything in our mouths. I guess it's just because we haven't actually eaten them, huh? Hmm, no orders today. That's odd. I hope everybody liked my food. I hardly know what to do with myself with all this free time. Maybe I'll take a walk. And with that, it is time for our three minute break. So get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do. And I will see you guys in probably just over three minutes because I'm going to go get myself a little bit of food. Yeah. Mmm. I just might come back with a craving for meats.
almost forgot to unmute myself. I'm back! Let me get a sip of tea. Okay. Alright, time to go see what went horribly wrong in the village. Oh boy! Oh wait, no, I didn't mean... Okay, continue, please. <laughs> I did not mean to exit the main menu. Okay, I don't think we lost any progress. So I think we're good. Hello, it's me, Bungeman. Late by 20 seconds, so you know what? Considering that I told you guys I was going to be a little late, that ain't bad. Thank you for the food. I like the food. I want food now. Come to my house. No need to make food. It's my treat. See you soon. I don't think I should go to Benjamin's house. Maybe I should bring him a carrot. I should bring him a carrot. Did you see a taco on the waiting screen? You only just noticed the taco on the waiting screen? Flo, I'm disappointed in you. That has been there the entire time. Did you also see the fauna figures? You only recently learned what a taco was. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Uh-huh. I think I have three... three fauna figures on there. I only saw for five seconds. Well, the taco does show up towards the end. I haven't... I haven't changed the screen yet. Hello, Mr. Bear! How are you doing today? Are you having a good day, Mr. Bear? Uh, please don't try to eat me. I know everybody else is going to try and eat me. Mm, okay, the road is still blocked. Yeah, I just can't get through. I'm just looking for more ingredients. Hopper, your eyes are looking a little red. You'll have to review the waiting screen next time. Good, good. Hop Hopper, your eyes are a little red. I think I'm gonna wait till I have my scooter over here. Yeah, still no orders technically. Any more, any more ingredients down here? I would love to make a little salad for people. Gosh, we have so many empty houses in this village. There's my scooter. I'm not going to talk to Benjamin yet. I'm going to talk to Hopper first. I'm very curious what will happen. Got my escape vehicle. Still starving the hamster. Yeah, I think that's the only thing uh, saving our little guy. Except he definitely needs a salad, so. Bread! It's in my brain! It is my brain! Okay, same dialogue as last time then. You're not gonna try and eat me, are you? Yeah, okay. We're good. <laughs> Today I'm playing play four to five games, brave. Well, I I did say that I don't know how many we'll get through, okay? Because frankly, I was expecting this one to be like half an hour. I've got a bad feeling about this. I better stay alert. Stay alert? What, what the heck do you mean stay alert? What, do you think Mr. Benjamin is going to try and murder us or something? Like, he's kind of twitching out a little bit. It's a little weird. Hey, 
Benjamin. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to turn around and failed. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Benjamin. Thank you for the food. I like the food. I want food now. Come to my house. No need to make food. It my treat. See you soon. Okay. Get my scooter out of the ground. Do I actually have to trigger Benjamin? I better stay alert. Well, don't stop me from being able to move. Okay, you know what? New plan. We're gonna back in. Oh my gosh, okay. This... Okay, this is one of those games where the turning direction changes. Goodbye! Uh oh, we got into the grass. How far do we have to go? Was that Mr. Bear? Is that what that was? And then... Oh, by Hop Hop. <laughs> Bye guys! Oh, it is missing no! I was right, it is missing no! Let's ride! Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. And now we just have a racing game? Oh, this is great. What? How did I miss the item box? Oh my gosh, it's just giant. Okay, we're gonna hit straight on? But that didn't... Yeah! We zoom in! Oh, and then we hit the grass. Okay. We zoom in! Woo! <laughs> this would be better with controller, but I don't think this controller supported. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! We... I was just curious. <gasps> okay. Well, this is cute. Um, I don't think I'll be playing it for very long, but... Whee! I swerve way too easy. Ah! I don't think we're going to get perfect lap. You want to sound defensive, but you have better driving skills than expected? Wow. Wow. I see how it is. You know, once I eventually get a capture card, we're just gonna have to play Mario Kart, okay? And then I will show you where my true prowess lies. Is what I say, and then I will probably get last. Because online people are always just better. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. That was cute. That was cute. Um, I think it's hilarious that it was missing now. Let's see. Not bad, but you wasn't expecting me to be able to drive at those speeds. I was practicing. Okay. So we have leftovers, boil noodles at night, approaching, or if, if something, something for travelers, it's a murder mystery. I don't remember what that one's actually called because it's shortened to like Iowan 4T. 
Here, let me make a poll. New poll. Reminds you of the old games like Wipeout. If you tried to play those games today, you'd be licking the wall all the way. Yeah. I don't think I ever played Wipeout. Okay. So we've got leftovers. We've got boil noodles at night. We've got approaching. And let me find the actual name of this one because... Uh, okay. Okay, if on a winter's night for travelers, that is the name of that one. Okay, and if on a winter's night for travelers, five minutes, I think five minutes is fine. Okay. Now vote! Carl's Quinn, welcome, welcome! All right, go, go, hamster chef is complete. We made everybody go psychotic from our uh, absolutely delicious food that wasn't terrible in any way. See, people were happy until we got onions. I also think it was really funny that um, Hop Pop, how he just got up and started chasing us too. I was I was a little surprised that the bear started chasing us as well, except that he was just being the guard, trying to keep people out. But he didn't eat anything, so I don't know. But he was also showing signs of static, um, static bleed. Great vote. Well, I haven't looked yet. Hmm. All right. Well, currently we have a three-way tie. We really got to get somebody else. Got to get somebody to break that tie. Equality at its finest. All right. Well, we're coming on for a little bit longer. Oh, you know. There we go. Now we're not in silence. We're not in the void. Let's see. Well, it says we have six viewers, so... There must be somebody here who can break the tie. Otherwise, I'll just choose one of them. If I do one of those votes where you can use points to vote more, you can get it rigged. Well, I know you could. I was going for equality here, because last time I did that, you complained. Honestly, I might just do a random number generator. Alright, random number generator. You'll always complain nothing new. Mm -hmm. Alright, I have a random number generator up from 1 to 3. So if the vote ends and nobody says anything, then we're just gonna go with one of those. All right, we're still at one, one, one. You know, how long did our little hamster boy go without eating anything? Wasn't it like four days or something like that? He's like, I don't need to eat. I'm full of an entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. Because that's... I definitely don't need to eat if that's it. I don't think he was even getting paid. 
Like, our boy was just handing out free food. And, like, Benjamin was just complaining the entire time. Like, wow, you're so terrible. It's like, just no respect. And no respect for the poor little hamster. None. None whatsoever. Okay, well, the vote will be ending soon if anybody, anybody at all, who hasn't voted yet has an opinion on whether we should play leftovers, boil noodles that night, approaching, or if on a winter's night for travelers. Yes, exactly, don't forget to vote. My vote doesn't count. <laughs> Weimer says to vote noodles. Will anybody vote noodles in the next? I don't even know how much longer it has. Uh, next five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we got a three-way tie between leftovers, boil noodles at night, and approaching. And the random number generator says, drum roll please, number one, leftovers. All right, so we're starting with leftovers. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll just go down the list. Or I'll do another vote and maybe you guys will change your mind. I don't know. Who knows? Rigged? Nah. Not rigged. <laughs> Always rigged? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not always rigged. If you want to say it's rigged, that is what I did before the stream, okay? By picking these out. Okay, I, oh gosh, it's so loud. Mm, aren't you guys loving that sound effect that gets used in every single one of these games? Let me turn, let me turn that down again. <sighs> okay, let's see if that's slightly more. Yeah, Noodles won. Noodles was the first one, right? Manage poll, view results, number one, one. Oh shoot, no, it was leftovers, my bad. I'm sorry. Let me fix that. Leftovers, totally rigged. <laughs> okay, we'll do noodles next, how about that? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Hoimer. Okay, let me double check. Okay, we're just gonna assume that the audio is good unless it proves me otherwise. I think it actually might be up too high. Let's try that. Hey, puppy dog. Oh my gosh, we're so short. Boy, I need your help, please. Boy, I'm, I'm not boy. Volume, camera speed, resume. Can we do a controller? Uh, kind of, except we can't look around with the controller, so guess that's not going to work. Look at that beautiful little painting up there. The door is blocked with boxes. Man, that's a fire hazard. I'm going to have to ask you to fix that. Ma'am? Okay, I don't think she can hear me. It's a backpack. 
I can't interact with it. <laughs> I said I can interact with stuff by left clicking. Does not seem to work. Can you open a door? I seem to be a baby. For I am small and on the ground. Talk to Mum. Mum has an invisible wall. Hi, Mum. I cooked too much today. Can you be a dear, please, and give the leftovers away to our neighbors? Uh, sure. Oh, when the cursor asks a question mark. When the qu when the cursor turns to a question mark, respond by nodding or shaking your head using the mouse. What? No. It's okay, dear. They're not going to bite. Are you sure? You'll have to be a big boy one day and learn to take care of your mum, all right? Don't be like your dad. I put ten boxes of leftovers in the bag beside you. Pick it up for me. Pick up leftovers. I'm sorry for troubling you, dear, but mummy's busy with dinner. Why aren't we having leftovers? Like, isn't that what leftovers are for? I know I've taught you to never talk to strangers, but you're not going to let me down, right? Well, I think I've been giving her too old of a voice. Good luck, dear. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I go out this way, please? I want out. I want out, but I don't want... Oh, hello, glitching texture. Good to see you. I want to see my body. I want to see what I look like. By the way, don't come back until you are done, okay? Okay. Thanks, Mom. I'm just gonna crawl down these stairs. Hello? Nope. No, your face is too close, ma'am. Hello, you must be the little boy from next door. What brings you here? Press and hold right click to show her the leftover. Okay. Here, leftovers. What's this? Mmm, my favorite. Why did the number turn red? I don't like that. Please give my thanks to your parents for me. By the way, have you been a good boy? No. <laughs> Are you silly boy? Sometimes being honest is not always a good thing. Well, good night now. Just peers into the darkness. So two of you know this game. I see. Oh, okay. We are just falling down the stairs. This is fine. Hello? Mom says you have to take the leftovers. Um, I, I think you got a little something on your face. What do you want? Hey, I have leftovers. That smells delicious. Do I need to pay? <laughs> what if I say yes? <laughs> what if we just do all the bad options? Thank you! Ew. He was that cockroach. He's a YouTuber that only plays horror games. He sometimes finds some really interesting ones. Ooh. Well, if there's any you guys want me to play this month, let me know, please. Ugh. Your face is too close, sir. Uh, yeah. Mm, food? Your mom's leftovers. Nobody wants that. Sir. Sir, my mom might be single, but um I don't I don't want you to be my dad. Wait, are you the son of that beautiful chick from level nine? No, def definitely not. Liar. How could I ever forget the smell? 
I'll be sure to save Earth while it's still warm. I can't go on anymore. Mommy! Oh wait, that was me. <laughs> Mom, these people are creepy. Dear, why are you home so early? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you're done? But... Sorry, dear. Mommy's really busy right now. I'm sure the neighbors aren't that much of a trouble, right? You can do it. So please go back out there and make mommy proud. Please. I don't, I don't want to go back. Okay. Oh, you know, I just realized that the dad's head is kind of scratched out in this image. She's also got the side ponytail of death in that picture. The coffin of Andy and Lele. Huh. Okay, before... Uh, can you put them in the Discord under um, game recommendations? Like, even just the name would be plenty fine. Like just silly short games like these. I think these are perfect for the spooky season. Hello. Sounds like someone is taking a shower. I should come back later. Can I just leave the leftovers on the door? I can't back up. I want to back up. What do you want, kid? I'm busy. Thank you! Oh, right. Leftovers. Seriously. <sighs> I guess this is somewhat tiring work. You know what? Just leave it outside the door. Thanks. Why won't you just take it? I mean, I don't care, but... Come in. We can peek inside. <laughs> Ow. My face. Boy, are you seriously back again? It's 250 points, please. Hmm. What? What what are you talking about, Flo? Are you are you talking about our our little become VIP redeem? Is that it? Hmm. I thought you said you wanted something to spend your points on. Are you trying to make mommy upset? The mom Enough. You probably did something you're not supposed to, right? What does VIP even do? It gives a marker next to your name. It's basically just that little diamond. So I don't have a ton of slots, but if you save up the if you save up the points, um, only one person's one person is allowed to redeem it per day, and I will be making it more expensive every single time. points I said I would give you after playing the game the game name on discord no I'm sorry Flo it doesn't work that way no so it starts at 250,000 points and then I will be increasing it by either 50k or 100k for the next person it's gonna keep going up so if you want VIP got it gotta get it early <laughs> oh. You like your one friend? He raises the point for his first redeem every time someone redeems it. Hmm. That's pretty funny. I mean, that's a good way to just get points out of the ecosystem. You think it will take a very long time to reach 250k? Oh my gosh, currently a 7k for that redeem. That's beautiful. 
beautiful. And yes, Flo, it will take a while to reach 250k. Seeing the number of times you stream and how long, say three months, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I, I do long streams. So if you're here basically the entire time, you can get a lot of points really fast. I mean, relatively fast. So, if you don't give subs or bits, it will, but if you do, you watch a lot and rate out points, then it adds up. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I think 250 is... 250k is reasonable for the first one. I think I'll make the final one at like 1 mil. Because, funny number. Don't poke your nose into something that gets you in trouble. Don't be like your dad. Okay. I'm gonna go make more trouble. Bye, Mom! <laughs> so after we do the troublemaker route, should we go back and be like a perfect child? You just found the game it is coming to Steam October 13th. 250s and average another friend of his 500k since so many of us watch him a lot but they also don't get um or a bit so it balances hmm. okay this is the shower person this is the grumpy man do, 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 do. okay on to floor number six hello Hello, ma'am. <laughs> you sure are, um... Bucks... No. I'm trying to think of the right word. I'm trying to think of the right word that doesn't sound terrible. Uh, you are, um, bountiful in the chest region. Well, aren't you an adorable one? What brings you here? Uh, food. I have to give these away. My, my, how thoughtful of you. You must be tired from walking up and down the stairs. How about you come in and rest for a while? No. Actually, yeah, sure. Such supple skin. I promise to be gentle. And then we died, right? Oh. Did we? Did the kid just get raped? Seriously, did the kid just get sexually assaulted? One more time! The mummy bay! If you come back home one more time, I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. You hear me? Just do what you're told! Mom, why are you so mad? How hard can that be? I think she's a little mad. We're just walking down the stairs backwards. This is totally normal. Totally normal behavior. And go again just to check. <laughs> I don't think we should go to that lady's house again. I don't know. We have five more houses. Looks like no one's home. Okay, great. Can I leave the food? Okay, well, you walk down the stairs backwards even as an adult. You want know lock, you do you. Also, welcome. I don't want to talk to her. She's just gonna bully me like in school. Too bad. Okay, fine. I guess we're not leaving the food. Whatever. They don't get free food, I guess. 
Looks like no one's home. Okay. That's it's fine. Here, just for you, luck. Hello? No, no be home again. And then an open door. Can I just leave the food? You know what? We're just gonna skip that door. You know, it's, it's impolite if we can't knock. No way home again? Are just all the other ones gonna be like, eh, nobody's home. Nobody's will be some. What if I go outside and just like, leave the food? Mom will never find out, right? I'm sure nobody in the apartments talked to each other. Oh, hey, finally. Hello! Yeah, what do you want? I have food. Would you like food? Aw, oh, man, caught me in the best timing possible. I was so sad to just eat this little duh. Uh, never mind, thank you. Ugh. We used to have a bag of food down there. But some schoolgirl kept trying to steal it. I guess she succeeded. <sighs> Goodbye. Could the schoolgirl be my bully? Hello? Oh, hi, old man. Uh, why do you have a knife? What? Why are you doing here, boy? Food. Oh, it's fine, little one. I'm not hungry at all. How about a chat instead? Uh, sure. Thank you. It's been a long time since I had a chat. You see, my wife just recently passed away. Does that have anything to do with a knife by chance? So it gets pretty lonely after a while. Especially this place. It gets to you eventually. For example, it felt like it was only yesterday that I met my wife. At the same time, it felt like it was only yesterday that I found her lifeless body with the knife stuck in her throat. I'm going to cut to the chase, boy. Tell me, do you think that it's wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? Yeah? Do you think anger is normal when someone hurts our loved ones? Yeah? Do you think murderer should be punished, sir? I don't think you should, uh, go on a vig vigilante, uh, knife stabbing spree. Wait, what happens if we say no? Do you guys want to find out what happens if we say no? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll end our game. Do we say no? Only one way to find out exactly! I see. So the son of the devil is finally upon my doorstep. Shh. It's time to sleep. That doesn't sound very peaceful. Game over. Restart conversation. Hello, sir. I don't want to get stabbed again. I bring food. Okay, how about chat? No, I, I just want... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that does not work. Oh man, I mean, okay, for the most part the 2D assets work really well until it tries to swing outwards like that. <laughs> oh please, I insist. Thank you, 
It's been a long time since I had a chat. He skipped arm day. I guess, yeah. You know, it, it seems a little two-dimensional. A little flat. Okay, wife passed away, gets pretty lonely. Please kiss you eventually. He met his wife at the same time. Then he found her lifeless body with a knife stuck in her throat. Do you think it's wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? Yep. Do you think anger is normal? Yep. Do you think murder should be punished? Yep. And if you found out your loved ones, for example, your mom is a murderer. Do you think she should be punished? Uh, sure. So honest. So innocent. It seems that not all is lost. Come in and rest for a bit. I insist. Can I? No! Don't worry about your mum. I'll get her. Game over. Restart conversation. Okay. <laughs> How do we escape from this one? I guess maybe we just disagree at the mom part? What are you doing here, boy? You know what? No. Can I, can I just leave? Okay, it won't let me. That's that's fine. He's not hungry. How about chat? I guess something about his wife gets pretty lonely. Please guess you eventually. Only yesterday, and then only yesterday again. A nice knife stuck in her throat. Uh, is it wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? What if we just say no here? We probably just get stabbed. Yeah, we probably just get stabbed. Anger's totally normal. Murder should be punished. Yep. Um. If mom should be punished? Nah. How hypocritical of you. That's all for now. Thank you for entertaining this old man. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> We're just gonna leave. Oh, hey, the pet food. Inspect dog food. Why is there a bag of dog food here? Okay, that, that's it. Knock, knock. Looks like no one's home. Okay. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Oh, hey! Is this the rumor tradition whenever a new neighbor moves in? Uh... Food. Wow, yes! Sorry, I've never experienced this before. <laughs> What's this dish called? Uh, uh, sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it looks so slimy. Thanks, I guess. Wait, is that an eyeball? Alright, we're eating old lady tonight. Also, guys, that's a fire hazard. I don't I don't think we can get out of the building like this. Um I don't think I can glitch my way around this one. Let me through! No, it's not happening. Okay. Um, I guess there's the open door, the shower, and then the boldy, I guess. Do you guys remember what doors those were? Let's see, that was old man, right? Okay, no, that's just a no way home. Someone doesn't like meatballs, it seems. Yeah. Maybe it's just head cheese. Just human head cheese. Minor details and all that, but... Hello? Hello? You can... you can have the food. 
I didn't do anything. I just put the food down. That's it! You want to be a little boy forever? Mommy, no! You like hurting me like your dad hurt me, don't you? You better go inside your room right now. Before mommy shows you what true terror is. Useless. Everyone's so fucking useless. Okay. Um. I I won't go inside the the nice lady's house this time. Okay, she needs our help. She cooked too much. So I was just checking the timer, see how far away we are. Okay. Yes, I can I can go feed our neighbors. That's a good dear. Make your mummy proud, okay? Don't be like your dad. This one's familiar? Huh, so that makes three of you who recognize this one. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Is this one about woman in a cabin? No, it is not. Uh, we are a little boy delivering leftovers for our, uh, murderer mom. Okay, I know. I know we're not supposed to talk to strangers, but today's a special occurrence. By the way, don't come back until you're done, okay? Okay, ma'am. Knock, knock. There's one about a woman in a cabin listening to a voice. You saved a while ago, huh? New boy from next door, what brings you here? I bring you food. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you have any game recommendations, especially like small indie horror games, especially free small indie horror games, um, please feel free to drop those in the Discord under game recommendations or here in the chat. Alright. Mmm, my favorite. Mmm, the old lady here, she loves human stew. Whatever it is. Me meatballs. We're gonna call meatballs. Please give my thanks to your parents. Actually, this is probably the dad that we're giving away, right? Have you been a good boy? I've definitely been a good boy. That's good to hear. Please take care of your parents then. Well, I'm kind of handing away my dad, so... I'm assuming it's my dad? I mean, it might be the old lady. But, you know. I'm sure mom's uh, preparing one of them. Hi! What do you want? I bring food. That smells delicious. Do I need to pay? Nope. <laughs> what an idiot. Can I skip his? Oh well. We have to go around all the doors. We have too many leftovers. Hello, creepy man. Leftovers. Your mom's leftovers, nobody wants that. Except, ooh, your mom's hat. Yeah. I'd like to save this while still warm then. Mm. Okay, well, it looks like telling the truth didn't cause us to freak out too bad. That's good. Hello. Alright, that's the shower. Hello. I bring leftovers. Yes, yeah, seriously. Okay, I'll leave it outside the door. 
I won't peek in this time. I'll be a good child. There we go. Okay. Food has been placed. We will not freak out. We will be good child. We will not run to mom. We are we are perfect child, always giving the right answer. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> She's very see, I I just can't think of the right word. Aren't you an adorable one? What brings you here? I bring food. A food. I might have thoughtful of you. You must be tired, come in and rest, no thanks. Uh maybe next time. Boobalicious lady. Passed. We did not get assaulted. Alright, nobody's home. On to floor five, I think? Yes. Alright, the bully. We're not talking to her. Nobody's home. Okay, so floor five on the left is the bully. What if we go down and take a look at the dog food? first before going to talk to the dude. Okay, well, this one's unrelated, so... Hello! Okay, bye! <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome! We don't get freaked out if we don't see people, right? <laughs> Nobody's home. Okay, floor three. Is that the guy? That might be the guy. We're still gonna go take a look at the dog food first. And then maybe just work our way back up? I think we could do that. Wow, look! Dog food! Why is there a bag of dog food here? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Oh, hey! Is this the rumor tradition where never a new neighbor moves in? Uh, yeah. How about I just hand her the food? I think that worked last time. I don't know how we get to not get freaked out by this one. Yes, it does look very slimy. How about I just don't hand her the eyeball one? We didn't get freaked out enough. Cool. All right. Nobody's home here. Okay. Excellent. We're doing great. We haven't made mom mad yet. We only have three dishes left. Yeah, yeah. She takes the food, so it's a so it's a success. Exactly. Hello, sir. I bring food. We do like food. You're not hungry. Okay, we can talk. You've had a long, been a long time. Then your wife passed away. Uh, your wife got passed away because she got murdered with a knife in her throat. Is it wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? Yes. Is anger normal? Yes. Murder should be punished, yes. Do not do not hit my mom. That's all for now. Thank you for entertaining this old man. Alright, he doesn't actually take food. I wish I could hand him food. Okay, so technically, old man does not take food, so we don't care about him. Hello? I have food. Best timing possible. He didn't eat the dog yet. We used to have a bag of food down there, but some schoolgirl kept trying to steal it because she succeeded. I can actually tell you where it is. Could that schoolgirl be? Okay, well, I guess we can't tell him. That's fine. All 
right, I believe our bully's on the right. Oh, no, no face home. No, no face home. Okay. Was it floor five that our bully was on then? No, can't knock on that one. Nope, nobody's home again. Well, I think the only doors left are the one where the person was taking the shower and our bully, right? Nope, nobody home. Okay, this is our bully, right? Yep. Wow, she looks mean. Well, well, if it isn't the little cry baby. What are you doing here without your mommy and daddy? Well, I'm here to deliver daddy. Is that food I smell? Give it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're finally getting some common sense. Hmm. You think I'm the one stealing their food? Just one more to go. I remember that dad's friend lives on level 7. That must be the person who was taking the shower. Damn right I am. I've hidden it away. I've got to teach that man a lesson. His dog licked me the other day. How disgusting. Heh, his dog will probably starve to death any time now. Don't think about ruining my plan. What if I just tell him where the food is? Because I found it. What floor was that guy on? Was it floor two? I think it was on floor two, right? Or was it... I should have paid more attention. I'm pretty sure he was on the left, right? Right? Hello? I mean, how hard is it to find the food at the bottom of the stairs? Like, really? Okay, I think this was his. Yeah, because he can hear the dog bark. Okay, so floor two on the left is that guy. What if we go interact with the dog food again? Can we just grab it? There we go, I found the stolen dog food. Excuse me. You got back our food? Thank God. Just put the bag back. Sir, your teeth are a little... Crap, gotta go, kid. Thanks again. Sir, you're looking a little more gaunt. You, you okay? Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh-oh. Guys, I think she's mad at me. Oh well. Do you want an extra serving? Oh no, I can't go past her. <laughs> I don't want to talk at the top of the stairs. Uh. You'll regret this. Well, at least she didn't push me down the stairs. I thought this is what she was gonna do, so yeah. Could be worse. I'm trying to be angel child this time. And yes, this... Yeah, she didn't push me down the stairs this time. Yes. Okay, floor seven. Oh, hello! Hey, you're the cute little kid from level nine. What are you doing all alone at night? Food. Aw, oh, you cutie. You must be so tired. Oh, wow. Your mom really made this. 
I just have to know her recipe. Uh, the recipe is a, a great dashing of lover. Hi, Hillary. It's me, Laura. Yeah, your sweet little kid just handed it to me. Is someone going back home crying again? We're gonna find out. Kenneth is a very lucky man to have you cook for him every day, huh? What do you mean, was? Oh, let me guess. He finally told you about us? <laughs> you heard her. Huh? What do you mean? That's not what you meant. What? You psycho bitch. You better not move, kid. Uh, I need to go home to mommy. I'll kill all of you! Excuse me, pardon me. Mom! 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 Return home. Good job, dear. I'm very proud of you. Now go to your room and go to bed. Mommy's got some leftover business to take care of. Yeah, I know we should have looked behind, but I was trying to focus on not dying. And anyway, it is time for a three minute break. I think we timed that pretty good. Yeah, bitch fly, let's go! <laughs> okay, anyway, get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do, and I will see you guys again in three minutes.
All right, we're back. So, Flo, did you see the Fauna figurines this time? Or did you forget to look? All right. Ah. And I'm shoving food in my face, so... Oh, you got distracted. Wow. Wow. Just means I'll have to look next time. Okay. Um, I think we were going to do noodles next. Wait. You shared the game you were trying to remember on the Discord, but you haven't played it yet, so you don't know how long it is. Excellent. I said it was like this for a few days. Um, I haven't updated the ad screen <laughs> since I made it, so it has been like that since I finished it. Oh my gosh, I have a piece of spring egg roll in my teeth. Okay. I really hope my mute button actually worked. Okay. All right, we're going noodles. Noodles, noodles, noodles. Come on, game. There we go. Noodles. Woo. And you found what on YouTube? And I do see the two um, game recommendations that you guys left in the Discord, which is awesome. So we won't be doing those today just because I will need time to get them all downloaded and set up. But I think we can do them probably next week. I'm I'm not promising anything for sure right now, but it's likely. It's likely we can do them. Okay, let's double check that audio. Make sure it's not like way too... Oh, that's what you meant by found on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, just looking at... Just looking at those makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay, leftovers. Can turn those off. Hamster Chef. Hamster Chef was so cute. I don't think that one was really scary at all. I don't think these are quite the right horror. Goat noodles, noodle goat. Only now you know what fun it is before you looked and thought it was from some game. <gasps> I'm amazed that you didn't know about Hollow Live until just now. Or until just very, very recently. I am I am shocked. Shooketh even. Next you need to get into the Hollow Stars rabbit hole with me. Join me. Well, specifically the Holoster's Tempest rabbit hole. Join me. Ooh, okay. If I if I update it, I'm gonna have to add Phantom in there too. And only looked more because of Hollow Cure. Hollow Cure is fantastic. Hollow Cure is just fantastic. So I don't blame you for getting introduced to it through that. Oh, life is already too much for me. Yeah, but the guys, the guys are great. Uh, one day, one day I will get you guys into the rabbit hole with me. Uh, Shinri and Betel are my Oshis, so. I did see Mumei's new song. It was really cute. I like the animation in it. Why is there more than one hollow thing? Um, It's because the guys and girls are kind of separated. Mostly because that's just... It's based off of um, idol culture in Japan, and it's weird. Personally, I wish that they were all just kind of grouped together rather than being separated. But it's just it's how they decided to do it. Um, it's unfortunate. The guys are just way less popular than the girls. Even though, honestly, I think their content is just kind of better in general, but that's that's just my opinion. 
Uh, yes, Hollow Stars is also from Yago. Or Yago. 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 There we go. Yep, all same company. And they do collab together. But, yeah, just not, not super often. But yes, Hollow Stars English. Hollow Stars English, the Tempest Guild, they are fantastic. And I think they actually had their one year anniversary fairly recently. Yeah. I have been, I've been deep in that rabbit hole for a while. <laughs> Actually, they're the ones that really inspired me to start streaming. Like, very specifically, the Tempest Boys. Um, I think it was... I think it was mostly Vesper. And then when, when Vanguard debuted, that's really what made me think, you know, I think this would be a really fun thing to do. So... Yeah... Uh, you're looking more for Advent and the rest is more clips. Um, I think I've posted it in the greater off topic channel before, but just some of the clips from the guys. Yes, Vesper, the grandpa who he and Magni graduated under unfortunate circumstances. But their old personas are doing well. And I don't think I should share those on stream, so I won't. But if you guys are interested, I could post links to people who are suspiciously similar to them on the Discord later. So, if you guys are interested. But yeah. Anyway, boil noodles at night. Here we go. Ooh, this one's got a way different vibe. I can't sleep yet. Maybe eating noodles will make me sleepy and go to bed. I want to boil some noodles. I hope there's still some noodles left in the kitchen. I saw a clip of him and Bay talking about different things of their childhood. <gasps> yes, that stream was so good. I love that one so much. That was such a good stream. It was Boomer versus Zoomer, except he's not actually a Boomer, but... Excellent one. Excellent stream. Um, Vesper's stream with Crony was also fantastic, where she was trying to get counseling from him. That was so good. Hello. Actually, that looks like a pretty comfy couch. I'm not short anymore. In fact, I feel huge. Like, look at this. I am tall boy, or tall person, or the ceiling's just really short, and that chair is huge, like, okay, I think the ceiling's just really, really short, and that chair is very tall. Trying, so she didn't get it, um, I think it was more she was dealing psychic damage to Vesper than actually, like, getting counseling from him. Is that blood on our refrigerator? I guess. Okay. Do we have anything in here? Noodles! Just one noodle. This won't fill me up. I want to buy one more noodle. And then we will have two noodle. <laughs> Why just two noodles? Hello, bathroom. I feel like this is that a scale. And then there's our bathtub. Is there a light? Oh, yeah, there's a light. Okay. Mm, you're right. Two noodles is the start. Oh, hey, we turned on the light. Look at us. Oh, we can't turn off that one. We'll just leave the light on. Why not? Is there a light switch for this room then? I don't think there is. I think it's just dark. Yeah, okay. Let's go get noodles! Close our door behind us because we're not savages. 
You want to go right? Well, what if we go left? No, we can't go left. Okay. We're walking in the road. Because why wouldn't we walk in the middle of the road on a dark day? Probably wearing dark clothing. We're going to get hit by a car. I can't jump. Oh, hey, a bus station. <laughs> We're taking a bus to go get noodles. Hello. <laughs> Hello, sir. I think your face is a little <laughs> protruding. You might want to get that checked out. Hi, what do you want to buy? I want to buy noodles, sir. Noodles. Yes, noodles. The noodles are gone. <gasps> Look at the noodles be gone. Okay, thank you. Oh, hello. Are you here to get noodles as well? I think your face is even more messed up. Are those, are those your eyes up there? <gasps> Hi, can't get through. P pardon me? Okay, I got through. All right. Noodles, noodles, trying to get noodles. We can't keep going? Well, does that just mean we're going home? Sir, do you, do you have noodles? Did I mess something up? Noodles, noodles, gonna get noodles. Is there something in the road? Nope. Oh. The noodles are gone. Well, I want to boil just one. We will have noodles. Do we have any noodles in the back? Nope, we can't go around back. Noodles, noodles. Oh good, our bathroom light is still on. Why can't I open the door? That's not weird at all. Hey, we have two noodles! <gasps> Thank you, kind stranger that's probably lurking in my bathroom. Wait, I can't close this? Okay. Noodles! Why are there two noodles here? I don't care. I want to cook it. No, no. It's not even I want to cook it. I want it to cook it. I want to put water in the pot and boil noodles. Um. Okay. Pot? I forgot to buy water. There's no water in my house. Don't you have a bathtub? <laughs> I want to buy water. What is this person? <gasps> I think our person's an alien pretending to be a person. Also, they didn't want to they didn't want to eat noodles. They wanted to boil noodles. I feel the need to point that out. Just I want to boil noodles. Yes. I want two noodles. Two noodles. Just two lovely little noodles. Hello! We're back! Can I have water? I may have forgotten... Oh, I drink. It's only one dollar. Okay. Uh... Where's your friend? Friend? Who? The person before. He said you were his friend and live with you. Aww. I just live alone at home. And I don't know him. You live alone at home? Yes, I'm new here. I don't know anyone. Uh, hello. Friend, are you okay? I really think you should get that head thing checked out. It's... It's a little concerning. 
It even glows. Like, wow, look. You're, you're just positively glowing. All right, do you want to just come have noodles with me? It's less awkward if we just walk together. Like, come, come on, come on. I'll take your hand. No? Okay, I'll see you at home. Just don't try and murder me in my sleep, okay? Thanks. Oh, I can't see him anymore. Okay. Are you in the closet? No. Two noodles still. Oh, hey, I can open this now. Oh, wait, was that a toilet? Yeah, I think that's just a very awkward looking toilet. There's really no faucet in the bath. Like, that's weird. Okay. What water? I need noodles. One, two, boiled. I'm not sharing. You didn't want to walk home with me, so I'm not sharing. We're just going to stand in the corner. I'm just chilling. Watching our noodles. Yeah, only two minutes, even though it's like it's not really in there. It's kind of kind of on top. It's a little weird. It's like it's not. It's just it's not mixed in at all. And why do we have a plate out? Why are we just going to eat it straight out of the pot? Like, come on. Let's be civilized here. Mm, noodles. I need a chair to sit and eat. Our noodles are undulating. Undulating. Undulating noodles. Mmm. You know, we could grab the chair while it was loading. Well. Wait, what? We're supposed to put it here? I don't want to put it there. I want you to the counter like a barbarian. Okay, whatever. I need a plate. Look, buddy, if you want to come in, just say so. You don't need to be a weirdo. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we're just going to serve ourselves just boiled noodles onto a plate. Even though we're not even going to strain it. Can we at least strain it like into the bathtub or something? No, we're just going to... Okay. I mean... That doesn't look the worst. Where did we get the egg? Like, that was just plain noodles. Seriously, where did we get the egg from? Maybe if there's a juice drink, it will look good and better. Are we gonna go buy a drink? Alright guys, are we gonna eat it or go buy a drink? Like, our dude is so needy. I think our friend would be happy if we go say hi again. The noodles are a drink. <laughs> Alright, so we got, I think, two votes for just eating it. I mean, but it's not a juice drink. Right? Alright, I think we're just going to go ahead and eat it. I'm very hungry. I want to eat now. It's not juice, but it's better. And it's so late that I'm tired of walking there. 
can we can we sit and eat? No, we're we're not gonna use the chair. We're just gonna eat here. Oh, okay. It shoved us into the chair. Oh wait, there's another light switch. I could have turned that on. Mmm, noodles in my non-body. <laughs> We're gonna face the door. Mmm, noodles. Friend? No? Now we use the restroom, right? And then go back to bed? Or do we just go bed in here? Sleep! You eat noodles. And your stomach is very full. And you sleep very well. We got the good ending! <laughs> I think it said there were three. What a great game. Mm-hmm. Okay, well... Do you guys want to try and go for the other endings? How do I even get the other endings? Is it just something to do with when we go to get the juice? I don't know, I'm kind of amb ambivalent. Do you guys want to go for the other endings? Oh, juice and the knocking. Right. You know what? Why not? We've got it up. It'll just take a while. We're gonna just try and speed through it. We need noodles! Noodles! Just one noodle. Oh no, we have to go buy more noodles. Oh, we got the door shoved us. I'm just gonna leave the door open. I want to go right. We're already going right. Can we sprint? I want to sprint. We're just going straight there. Straight there and back. We even left the door open so our friend can get in and give us noodles. We are... we are good friend. Hello! We want noodles! Noodles? The noodles are gone! Okay, thank you. Hi! Friend, did you just leave us noodles? You knew we wanted noodles. Ah, Look at those rosy cheeks. There's so much walking. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's 2 a.m. and our dude is just like super stoned. And he's just like, oh my gosh, I just, I don't want noodles. And he doesn't even think about that. Oh wait, I need water for my noodles. Oh look, there's two noodles. I don't care, I want to cook it. I want to put water in the pot and boil noodles. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to buy water. Because there's no water in my house. Why is there a house without water? Who knows? I swear this guy. <laughs> how is he alive? Just how? Like, oh, I don't have running water in my house. I just want to go boil noodles. I had to spend a dollar to buy water just to boil noodles. It's only one dollar. Okay, where's your friend? My friend? I live alone. Hi, friend. Come on. Let's go boil noodles. <laughs> and then I guess eat the noodles. Maybe. Depends on if he murders us or not. Mmm, tea. I'm just gonna leave the door open. Water, noodles, noodles. 
Why are you knocking? Why are you knocking? I already opened the door for you. Ugh. Did I screw it up because I already opened the door? Like... Ugh, I don't know. I'll leave it open for him. Are you in here now? No. I'll turn on the light. Maybe it's broken. I want to fix it later. It's fine. It's just the light switch. What if you leave the noodles to boil? <gasps> That's a good question. Let's find out. We're gonna let him overcook. Soggy noodles. We're committing a war crime. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're just gonna grab it. I need a chair to sit and eat. Oh no, almost like we have a chair here. I need a plate. Why are you using a plate instead of the bowl? I do not understand. I need noodles and put them on a plate. All right, and then prepare for war to go everywhere. <laughs> Sploosh. Well, it's time to eat. Maybe if there is a juice drink, it would look good and better. <laughs> we'll go buy a drink, I guess. I want to buy a juice drink. But who knocked on my door earlier? It is late and quiet. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I want to buy a drink. And it was D, D and O apostrophe T. No. So we're just gonna go let our noodles get cold. It, they will be cold noodles by the time we get back. Okay, friend. <laughs> the noodles will be gone. <laughs> Oh, hi! Can I, can I get a drink? Want to buy something? Who are you? Where's the man in the white shirt? Him? He's behind you. Ah! Ah! He's not there! How dare you lie to me? How dare I want juice? I was promised juice. Not really promised by anybody else, but I want juice. Dang it. Good. Kick this. Ah! Ah! Take that! Ah! Give me juice. I want juice to go with my noodles. I am very disappointed. Sir, where are you? I want to speak with the manager. Are you the manager now? Ugh. I just want my juice. My night is ruined. I just want some juice to go with my noodles. Gosh. Are you coming? Excuse me. I said... You're coming with me. We're going to go find the manager together. Come on. Come on. He's not listening. Whatever. Whatever. Irresponsible guy. You know, I just want some juice to go with my noodles. Is that too much to ask? I thought I heard somebody behind me. Oh. Is somebody eating my noodles? <laughs> Sir.
your house is entered by a killer who targets people who live alone at home. Your body becomes a noodle. <laughs> what? What the heck is the third ending? Like... So we got the good noodle ending. Is it just like, if we leave? I don't know. Should we should we go for the third? <sighs> okay, well we'll try it, I guess. Alright, if we don't get it this time, we're just gonna move on. I don't think I can deal with this another time. Just one noodle. Will you be able to sleep at night without knowing the last noodle's ending? I don't know. I might have to go get noodles. Yeah, I might I might just have to go go make noodles tonight. I've got Chinese food right next to me, but I'm that's not noodles. I actually haven't had noodles in a while. Like ramen noodles anyway, which is clearly what these are. Hello. I want to buy noodles. Eat noodles. We will try to eat noodles. The noodles are gone. Well, I just want to buy I want to boil just one. Uh, we will try. What happens if I just move the chair and everything ahead of time? Wow, there are two noodles. Oh no, I forgot I need water. Oh wow. Water is necessary. We'll just... Nah, we're leaving the door open. I don't care. Why does the serial killer not come back if... If we don't go to buy a drink. Like, if we just go home, make the noodles, and that's it. It's only one dollar. Okay. Thank you. Where's your friend? Oh no, we live alone. Hi friend. Do you want to follow me home? I'm going to go boil noodles and then I'll try to come back for a drink. Except I would we should have just bought the drink now. Maybe it's broken. Yeah, maybe. Oh, here we go. I found the third ending. <laughs> you sleep when stove is on and your house is on fire and your body is scorched. We got the secret ending. Yay. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we burned ourselves alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the lazy ending. Exactly. Uh, okay. Woo, we made it through noodles. <laughs> okay. Well, that sure was a game now, wasn't it? All right. Well, I think approaching was the only other one that actually had a vote. So I guess we'll do that next.
There we go. All right, that's probably quite loud. Okay, I did turn down quite a bit, so hopefully it's okay for you guys. It still seems really loud, though. I don't know, how's the volume for you guys? Just let me know and I will happily adjust it, okay? It's fine, fine, fine. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me just... Was it hamster? Da, 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 da. Okay, turn off noodles at night. Okay, well, I can't see everything at the same time. Oh well. Okay, Flo, enjoy lurking. Alright, and this one is a controller game, so we will attempt that. Wah! Okay, well. Okay, I can like... Why? Why is the look... What the heck? Okay, up and down on my control stick is left and right. That's... That's weird. That is weird. Okay, we are not using controller. Why is there a cage? Okay. Okay, and this one is called Approaches, by the way. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little longer than the others. Is that a ball? What? Is that a token? Oh, it's like poker chips. And probably beer cans, if I had to guess. Oh. Okay. Well, it looks like both to the north and south we've got marks. I don't know what any of this does. Activating them doesn't seem to do much right now. Okay, we're just gonna leave this room and move on. Oh gosh, this one kind of hurts the eyes. Another beer can. What the heck is shaking? Why is everything shaking? What the heck? What What is going on? Tech, 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 tech. We've got our backpack that we set down. Antennas. Just a chair. What the heck? I think we're supposed to be watching for stuff, but I don't know what. Anything in here? Tech, 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 tech. I do not understand. I see birds. Birds are flying. Caw, caw.
Are we just supposed to watch stuff? I guess I'll just head back up here and... Well, we can't sit down. It's another flock of birds by the sound of it. Might even be the same ones. Oh! Wires that I guess we were supposed to connect. Okay. Wires are going inside. Is there stuff working? Hey! Eh. Oh. What is shaking? What is going on? I can't tell which direction it's coming from. I have no idea. Okay. Back to our instruments, I guess? Deck? Triangle? Square? I'm gonna call that mountain or crown. Oh. Okay, so who got a noise? I am so confused. I do not understand. Yeah? Okay. Just give me a can of beer. I don't like beer, but... I... I am super lost, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, it keeps making sound on circles, so... Where? Where are we supposed to be looking? Over there? That's where the birds came from. Oh, hello. Uh, I think I should get inside. Pardon me, excuse me. Oh, I can't get inside. I think I'm dead. Hi. I don't think the instruments are working anymore, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, my eyes are hurting just looking at this. Oh, there's more of them. Hello? Um... Are, are we in Attack on Titan, by chance? Are we getting attacked? Can I go inside? Can I go back inside? I want to go inside, please. No, nope, I'm not allowed inside. Okay. And the game crashed! <laughs> Uh, 
I guess approaching really is the right name for that one. Wow. Okay. Um... Oh, sorry, approaches, not approaching. Oh, we were supposed to be bird watching. It says it's an ambient horror game about bird watching on top of a data collection station. Recommended to play on the loudest volume that's comfortable and with any sort of bass. Also play in the dark. Well, I didn't play in the dark, but. Huh. Huh. I thought it was going to be one of the longer ones, and it ended up being the shortest. But this is why I like indie games. People just get to try out weird stuff. I like it. Okay. And that leaves If on a Winter Night for Travelers as our final game that I have planned. Guys, it's only been three hours and we've already gone through four games. I just want to point that out. Created with Uggs. Look how pretty this one is. Okay, one second. I need to make sure I'm looking at the audio settings. There we go. All right, as always, please let me know how the audio is. If it's too low, too high, just let me know. And feel free to chime in at any time during the stream or during the game. I want to make this as good of a viewing experience for you guys as I can. Alright! New game! And take another sip of tea. Never mind, February 1929, somewhere in Central Asia. Ooh, look at this beautiful pixel art! I think we're saving the best for last. And to think none of you voted for this one. Young man. Is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. It, It is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes. And the music. Exquisite. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Layla. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you. Um, Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there's definitely something on your mind. I guess it's an old woman, huh? Are you looking for somebody? Oh, no. It's just that um, I know it must sound peculiar, but... I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. Are you in the afterlife? What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I do remember. Rome? What a beautiful city. Were you on vacation? In a way, I was there to meet with my... Paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. The Silent Room. Ah, beautiful room. So glad to see you again. Still as majestic, as decadent, and of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. 
my shooting star. Thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, E. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled! Oh my. This is going to be rough. Rough, you say? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's an option. He's, he's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Or, oh my, this is going to be rough. He's thrilled to see me. Be still, my beating heart. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable. Everything needs to be perfect. All right. Phone. Room service. One of the greatest inventions of humankind. Let's see, we've got a fan that might kill us. You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Is he insulting the painting? There's something here. Oh, the bed. I'm so tired from my trip, I just want to take a nap. But Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. But then you get crumbs in the sheets. A chest of drawers, socks, underwear, a couple of shirts. And that Rolex Patrick gave me at the very first party we met. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. There. So fancy. And my kitty cat walks in. Let's see. To the bathroom. The secretary. Okay. Oh, the street. Who even needs an alarm clock with this pandemonium? Depends on how good you are tuning it out, I suppose. Let's see, we got a toilet. Been there, done that. Glad you don't need it. Mirror. Gotta freshen up. You lucky handsome devil, you. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he is the one? The real one. Can you imagine? Having to tell mom and everything. Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge. We'll end if we ever get to it. For now. You look just dashing, young man. It looks like a face. Towels? I'm sure these towels cost more than what I make in a month. That is terrifying. Bathtub? Well, well, well. That, that's it. Okay. I guess we're done in the bathroom then. Alright. The Roman bust. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Togas, fun. Patrick loves that whole Roman emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Americani. Oh. There's even a radio in the room. A radio! This place really has everything. We're gonna turn it on. Hmm, I wonder how this works, or... I think I'd better leave it for Patrick. Alright, while we have that up, I'm gonna move you guys... If I can find you guys. Da, 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 da. Where is chat? There's chat. Well, oh my gosh. Sometimes, sometimes things just snap to the wrong place and it's very frustrating. Oh well. Hmm. 
Hmm, I wonder how this works. Sure. Oh no, what have I done? Can we turn it off? Oh dear, what a relief. Oh, I see, it's market day. What a racket. Let's see, I don't think we need to look outside anymore. This very expensive glass table feels like it's missing something. Is it the centerpiece? Let's see... Oh, a bar. Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, campari, of course. Mmm. Is that limoncello? And flowers. Great! Room service delivered. But I should move them somewhere else, where they stand out a bit more. There's so many flowers in this room. Alright, let's just put those on the table. It'll be perfect. And it is time for a three minute break. So, we are going to go ahead and do that. Yes, yes, much better. Oh, and here's the guard, just as I requested. To my one and only. Aww. He's going to love it. Wait, no, it's the door buzzer. Patrick! Okay, wait, wait, wait. How do I pause? There we go. Okay, paused. Anyway, get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do, and I will see you guys again in three minutes.
we're back. All right. Okay. And resume. Okay, so we have the op we have the option to save the game, which is good. I like that you can change the text speed. I think it's at a good spot right now. Oh, Patrick. Oh my. Carlo. Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you. It's been too long. Oh, I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So, how do you like this place? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. The room! Pretty fancy, isn't it? Very much so. Especially that painting of the bed. Or especially that bathtub. Mm -hmm. Do we really look at the bathtub? I thought we looked at everything in the bathroom, but... I don't remember any dialogue for the bathtub. I'm trying to step up me. <laughs> I've been cold today, so I'm wearing a vest and I'm trying to zip it up and wasn't cooperating. Okay, there we go. Especially that panting over the bed. Over there in the bedroom. The artist really gave it all. It's a sight to behold. Oh, this I must see with my own eyes. Cats. This way, I presume. Kitty cats. No oh, kitty cats. Oh, 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 oh. oh God, I'm so sorry. You better be. You're not the only one asked to sleep with that over his head. Come on. Oh, good girl. Absolutely fair. I'll have them transfer you immediately. Look at this amazing bed, though. Wink, wink. What do you say? Okay. <sighs> we should really make the most of that amazingly equipped bar I saw in the living room. Ah, Nani, you are knocking my food. Even if it's only so dirty with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of that Volstead Act. That's probably... Probably prohibition he's talking about. Nani, I said no. So I've had food sitting here for well over an hour now. Well over two hours now, actually. And my cat is deciding that she very much wants some, which she's not getting. Are you serious? It's not even noon yet! Or, oh sure, coming right up. Um... You know... They're on vacation, whatever. You guys are gonna get plastered. That's my bambito! Let's do this! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, we better not have any pixelated... Bedroom activities, okay? Don't make me in the stream early. Nothing too sweet, please. So, one for Patrick, one for me. There you go. Salute. Cheers. Oh, do down the entire thing in one go. Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? Uh, Nani, get your tail. Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but feel free if you want. I mean, we did look at it. Don't mind if I do. There. Isn't that nice? It's static, man. 
It's so staticky. Oh, by the way, those flowers are for you. I should show you the bathtub next. It's quite the thing. Nah, no, we're gonna point out the flowers. Such wonderful flowers. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card. To my one and only. Ah, oh, Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Oh no. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. Is he married? I'm sorry. What? Don't you like me anymore? Or are you serious? You're dumping me? Uh, let's go with the why. Why don't you like me anymore? Come on, Carlo. You know it's not that. I like you, but this doesn't mean that I... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Oh, don't play dumb now, please. I'm not playing dumb. I was truly starting to believe we were made for each other. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, in your telegram, for example. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room and I'll show you. Money. You're exhausting, Carlo. What if you talk to him again? It's there. In your own words, I'll show you. Sure, knock yourself out. And they already have alcohol in them. This is a great pairing. Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Oh, I'm so dumb. Poor guy. You were a shooting star. Of course. Fleeting. A passing glimpse. And then gone. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure. Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? It's not that. And it has nothing to do with you. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Wrong? How can this be wrong? Oh, you surely can't be serious now. Ah, uh, I don't know, I'm pretty amb ambivalent between these two. Oh, you surely can't be serious now. Just say you're afraid of being deported and cut the crap. Look, I don't expect you to understand. But I have read these articles. These medical journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. As soon as I found out about it, I told my wife everything. About you. Me. About this whole thing. She knows it was the malaise. Something beyond my control. No, no. And she supports me unconditionally. We'll go through this together. Discreetly. And our marriage will be stronger for it in the end. Carlo, you should think about it too. Apparently there's this hospital near Turin. In Collegno. Carlo, they could cure you. Ooh. 
I don't think this conversation aged well, guys. <laughs> Speeches. You're such a coward. Uh, begging, I guess? After all we've shared. After all these moments together. Sick. You really hate yourself so much. That you think a doctor can cure you of what you feel for me. Carlo. I can't feel anything for you. I have a wife. I have children. I am a man. And this is what a man does. A man cheats on his wife? With another man? A real man doesn't cheat. I don't care if you're gay or what. You, you don't cheat. You don't cheat on your partner. That ain't okay. A man. A snake is what you are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about this guy for what he would really want. Patrick, I know you're scared. I don't know. I don't think... I don't think ex escalating the fight's necessarily what we should be doing here, so... Patrick, I know you're scared. A real man cheats with his wife. Oh, you're right, you're right. A real man doesn't cheat on his wife. A real man cheats with his wife. And then gets castrated. Patrick, I know you're scared. The future isn't looking good right now. Giving up seems like the easiest thing to do. But we don't need fixing. And you know it. This is not who you are. Oh, this is such a waste of time. Why did I think it was a good idea to tell you in person? I'm sorry, Carlo, but that's all I can give you. I need to go home now. Can you please call room service and order me a taxi cab? <laughs> Guess for cheating with his wife? That's called group activities. Okay, yes, yes. Cheating with his wife, that would be a group activity. Cheating on his wife is what gets him castrated. <sighs> all right, all right, sure. Or, you really have some nerve. Call one yourself. You know what? He can call a cab himself. If you want a taxi cab, call one yourself. Okay, fine. I'll ask for one at the reception desk then. Bye. This is what I get for trying to make things easy on a loser like you. Wow. Goodbye, Carlo. Go back to Turin. It's over. So, yeah, that's right. Just walk away. Or some nerve you have, calling me a loser. A s Neither one's a good option. Like, this thing's gonna blow up no matter what. So some nerve you have, calling me a loser. Ugh. What else would you call someone who keeps throwing his family's money away? Chasing who knows what or who. Seeking just one chance out between two legs. Calling you a loser is actually pretty forgiving. Are they gonna come to blows? Move away, Carlo. I'm done with you. Well, I'm not done with you! You heartless bastard! Ha! Oh, he did. Have at ye! <laughs> and then he murdered his lover. Well, ex-lover. 
very recently ex lover. No, we'll be playing. Oh God, Patrick! Oh, oh God! Honey, please do not make sounds that makes it me think you're gonna throw up, especially while you are on my lap. Are we, are we gonna take care of the body? Oh, uh, the phone. Should we answer the phone? My... What happened? Why am I still standing here? I was on my way to the bed bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Do you guys catch what that was? It was like my seat. So like my cab something. I don't I don't know if I can go back in the VOD. I don't think the VOD's up yet. I want to see what that said. Uh, let's see. Contents. Oh. 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 Oh, ha ha. Okay. I was able to go back. Okay, unfortunately, it's a little hard to get precise maneuvering. I'm just gonna have to wait a few seconds. Well, okay, come on. Come on, me. Go to the phone. Come on. Come on, come on. Hurry it up. I don't know the exact controls on Twitch. It is cool that I can just go back in the VOD while it's broadcasting, though. That's pretty neat. Okay, yes, yes. Come on, me, click on the phone. Okay. Okay. Okay, it just says my car is ready. That's it. That is all it says. Okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. That's okay, though. At least if there's something else that shows up. They are strangling each other now. No longer lovers. Now murderers. I don't think there's anything else we can click on. Toilet, bathtub, mirror. I guess just hand basin. Wash the face. What am I going to do now? So much blood. So much blood. <laughs> what am I going to do now? He told his wife. Everybody's going to know. Everybody here knows my name. They know who I am. There's no way out. There's nowhere I can go. Oh god. There really is no way out, is there? It'll be a lover's suicide, except one of them wasn't... Suicided. I'm sorry. I never wanted this. Forgive me. Wherever you are. Please forgive me. Are we going to have a fan kill us? An envelope. That, that was not there before. Okay, we can't go back into the other room. It's an invitation. 
to some kind of masked ball? RSVP not required. It's a, so this is supposed to be a mask? It slithers. Oh, uh, yeah. He did suicide. And next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. And now, this all feels unreal, like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me? I am so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. What if she's the wife? I've been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, and nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, Mrs... Winterborne. Valerie Winterborne. My husband is Henry Winterborne. Surely you must know him from the papers. N not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I... I'm not quite so sure right now. It's alright, dearie. What do you remember, then? Well, it was raining. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterbourne. I should see how long this game is supposed to be. I love the art so much. It's very, very beautiful. That bed is really nice. Good morning, ma'am. Glass decanter with laudanum. Laudanum? My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. But there's not much left. No. Oh, she doesn't want to look in the mirror. Interesting. No light. It hurts. Does she have a really bad hangover or something? These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? Draped cloth. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. Do we know what the last name of the of the blonde guy was? Cause I don't. It wasn't him, right? That's her husband. now. Did there used to be faces here? Ma'am, are you okay? Nani, you were not getting my food. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Outside? It is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. Oh, this poor lady. A ball of yarn? Oh, it's Lord Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime. Oh, but where is he? Are we looking for the cat? 
Maybe you got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Um, are we looking for a cat then? A meow meow? A meow 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 meow? Maybe we can try the hallway again. No. She still can't go outside when it is yesterday. Where's the cat then? I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something. It's hard to see anything with this rain. I should ask the maid if she's seen him. Okay. Can we go outside even though it's yesterday then? It is probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up, just in case. Okay, back to the armoire then. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. This poor lady. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Is she being poisoned? There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished her yet? What was that? I guess we'll go pick up the envelope. I mean, she already died, right? Letter from Lord Cavendish? What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? This is a joke. Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? More claws over the mirrors. I. I can't remember. Yeah, she must have been dead for a while and they just covered everything. A dusty face. A wine glass. Some moldy old book. Moldy? How long has it been sitting there if it's moldy? It feels like it's inside my head. The static. The static is in her head. Something not quite here. Disturb the shadows. The housemaid should be here, in her chambers. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door's too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. I need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. That is what the wine glass is going to be for. Have you guys ever done this? Where you took a cup and tried to listen through a door with it? The door itself is probably too thick. But maybe. Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her London... something consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I have refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick, and the lock is strong. 
It is vital that she doesn't find the key. Oh, that was the dude. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumors abound. <gasps> the display cabinet in the parlor. How dare they keep the key from me. I should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. Um, I have no use for this anymore. Okay. Well, it definitely sounds like her uh, medicine is poisoning her. Mmm, laudanum. Is that an actual thing? Ah. Uh, I see. <laughs> what shall I do today? I could play with my harp for a bit. And maybe afterwards, tea in the conservatory with a good book. It's not dark yet. I don't need to turn on a lamp. Nothing quite like running away from reality with your drugs. Yeah. It's so warm outside. I don't need anything else. Are we just gonna... Is she gonna die to the rain? Or is she just gonna freeze to death? I feel so sorry, so bad for her. I feel sorry for the maid. I wonder if the maid could have like watered it down or something. Although then, then the lady here probably would have just drink more. Okay, she's just gonna keep playing. The most wistful of melodies. Monsieur said he was a true master of melancholy. But right now I'm in the mood for something more cheerful. She walks with so, so much more of a jump in her step. He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he's arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. What about the ball of yarn? There's cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. <sighs> I've got cat hair all over me. <laughs> Some family pictures. These are these three over here are my favorites. Mama and I am Perry, February 1926. Mama and I in Vienna, April 1926. Mama and I in New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. Henry, pro Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I am a Winterborn, then so is he. Lonnie, do you want a portrait? Do you want a portrait of you? A portrait of my kitty cats hung on the wall. What a lovely day. Wow, look, they're suddenly not covered anymore. Mom and Dad, oh, how they hated posing for this. 
they think painting is out, and that there's nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls, like old-fashioned aristocrats. It is pretty interesting. Um, it's something that was talked about a good bit in my art history class that I took a while back. Um, just about how when photography when photography was first introduced, it was very much seen as like a sort of lowborn thing. Just like, oh, well, real people get portraits painted of them. Photography, such a fad. It'll never catch on. And it just wasn't really seen as like an actual art medium until much later. It was interesting. Seeing some of the early artistic photographs is pretty interesting. There's this one of a ship where personally, I, I don't care for it, but it's like, it's a super, super famous photograph. It's of, I think it's of a bunch of immigrants. I think they're coming to the US and they're just on a boat that is absolutely packed full of people. Yeah. I'll try to remember what it's called. Dear Grandpa. Grandpa Boisvoy? What? He believed in me when nobody else did. My little cousins from Ireland. I miss them so much. Is the glass going to be cracked? The catalogue from the auction in which the vase was acquired. A classic King Hua vase from the Ming period. Invaluable. And one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Glass. This beautiful Murano glass is a souvenir from our honeymoon in Venice. It's also cracked now. Just a personal trifle next to the family's treasures, of course. But very dear to me nonetheless. Well, I hate to break it to you, lady, but uh, your husband's kind of dead. It is not dark yet. We don't need to turn on the lamp. Oh, we can't look at the statues. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. Can we look at the door? I hope Henry won't lock himself up in study when he gets back. Mm, because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. Okay, we can't even try to talk to the maid. I guess we'll just move on. Okay. Oh, Eros statue or Eos? My own personal fa pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration to me. I could just not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says, Eos, goddess of the dawn. I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing this one. The plaque says, Minimus, goddess of memory and words. Sure could use help for that one right now. <laughs> As I meant mispronounce everything and stumble over the words. Apollo! The plaque says Apollo, god of music and the sun. Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. I never met him. And from what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. To the parlor. I 
I feel dizzy. Is she just gonna fall down the stairs? Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? We're, we're gonna keep going downstairs. No? Okay. I guess we're just gonna go drink more drug. That's fine, right? I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. The bass whisper of a melody. You should have been here. I hope the cat's okay. We're just gonna go to bed. Just sleep it off. Another letter. Her breathing looks so labored. Poor thing. Lord of Windstor now. What is this? Deepest condolences. Again. But there's more. I'm aware of the dire situation of the Witherborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. Wow. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she's the key to the cabinet. Jeez. Like, grieving period's not even over. And this dude's like, <clears throat> you know what? You can, you can marry me. You know, I, I heard your family's not doing great. Um, do you want to marry me? Yeah, yeah. You know, consolidate our wealth. Is that you in there, Mum? You didn't sleep here last night either. Mm. If only my hands weren't so cold. How useless. No light. It hurts. No. It's empty. I need to find more downstairs. Go to bed. It is always so dark. If it was yesterday, would it still be so dark? Oh, jeez. This poor lady. And the glass is still there. Did Lord Socks do this? Oh, she doesn't even remember. I mean, it's not surprising that she didn't remember. Is this the face he was talking about? I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces would be as valuable as a whole vase. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No. the vase. The vase didn't deserve that. I don't think there's anybody here. The noise was certainly caught their attention. How am I going to open that cabinet now? Oh. I miss Grandpa. And she can't remember. On and on until my very bones are wet. Oh my gosh, guys, she's already a ghost. 
Like, we can see through her. Look at that. You can see the carpet through her. I didn't notice that before. Shadow. Just a shadow. You were always so kind. Honey, don't detect the mic. It's just everything is too dark. Too dark and depressing. And then the spider webs. Dead flowers. There used to be flowers here. It's silent now. No more voices. Cold, heavy iron. Rest. Maybe later. My medicine should be in the cabinet. Honey? There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Maid is gone. Well, I'll snatch the bloody thing open if I have to. Um, I guess we're getting a poker. Books and more books. Here's one and another. The Prophet's Paradise. A treaty on clocks. Without fear of wind and vertigo. I don't recognize this title. Where did this come from? When did this come from? Unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. Poetry. What good has it ever done? A faint ticking. Well, I guess we're gonna go grab the cold iron. Hmm. Go, go, sleety. I like how subtle it is. Like, it's not super obvious that she's a ghost, but we can definitely see it. It makes me wonder if the first guy was also trans. Like, just slightly transparent like this, too. And there she is! Everything is so bright and pretty again, and it looks like peacock feathers. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. Glass inside glass, to be admired from afar, and not touched, as she smashed it open. What a sad fate. Bookshelf? There's some interesting books here. Is it going to be the same ones? It is. Far afield, a woman cried, I have killed him I loved, and from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow, and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? A treaty on clocks. One of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks, such as those embedded within busts or statues, lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. That is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course, unacceptable. Without fear of wind and vertigo. And so you see this mo this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by bottomless chasms, as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I'm not familiar with this author. Italian? Sounds very modern. 
table clock. Now that we can actually look at it again. It's a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs winding, and the key is missing. Is she going to blame the maid again, being like, oh, that darn maid, wherever has she gone? Such an unfaithful woman. And not refilling her medicine. Henry's favorite spot. After his study, of course. Okay, cat is not under wheels in my chair. A cat purring on your lap. The sound of logs crackling. No better way to spend those raining English autumn afternoons. That does sound really nice. Painting. I have never been too fond of this painting. It is so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old-fashioned sometimes. Can't look at the heads. There's no fire to stir. Record player. My gramophone. Da, 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 da. I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with Maman. Bop, bop, bop. Which one shall I play first? Three old Viennese dances by Fritz Kelsia. Parigi O'Cara by Giuseppe Verdi. Or My New York by Mar Hallett and his orchestra. Let's go with the orchestra. That sounds nice. This music is intoxicating. <gasps> How scandalous! Oh, why to end? Oh, might have been my headset. <laughs> I was like, that's weird. The music cut out. Oh no, just my headset again. Well, I have a new one coming on Monday, so. What should I play after this? Uh, Perigio Cara. Isn't it too dreamy? Okay, this one right here, it just reminds me of Fallout. Three old Viennese dances. Dum da de dum da dum. We're moving on. But this is not the way it happened. My trips with Maman. I need to remember. See, we're back. We're back to the music you like flow. To the foyer. It sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. Ba -ba -ba. But I do not need anything from them right now. And I should not eavesdrop. It is rude. You were eavesdropping earlier. I have nothing to do out there. I'd rather listen to some music. We already did. Um, how about back to the hallway? I'm curious if she'll say anything else up there. For music's like this thing, like piano. Mm hmm. I agree. 
It's a very nice song. Oh, hey, the bass is back together. That face. It feels like it shouldn't be there. And there's something else missing, but I can't remember what. Is the vape or the glass? I miss you both. I shall go visit soon. Dear Grandpapa, you believed in me when nobody else did. Okay. It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry's in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. Must be deja vu. Okay, um... You know what? Oh, never mind. The music stops when I tab out. Okay, um... We are going to be having our three minute break. So get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do, and I will see you guys again in three minutes. Okay, I guess we'll go back down to... Should we go back down to the music? Because she did say she just wants to listen to music, right? To the parlor! Ma'am, please. 
Okay, well, she said she wants to listen to music, so... Which one shall I buy first? Um... We'll try this one again, I guess? Such a delicate piece. Okay, then... Three old Venus dances? Okay, okay, I thought we were listening to that one already, but... Alright, then down to Parigi Okara. Two dreamy one, and then the My New York. And then I guess we'll just stop after this and see... But this is not the way it happened. Okay, well, we tried. Thing to do out there. Let's listen to some music. We already listened to some music. Flowers. What else can we look at again? Yeah, she got the moves. Alright, flowers. We already looked at the books. Display cabinet. I guess we'll just head to the bedroom. We kind of already looked at everything in the hallway, so. Make us watch her walk all the way. Okay, good. Why is he taking so long? It's going to get dark. These are some of my favorite family photographs. Mama and I in Paris. Vienna, New York. Oh, I really feel like listening to the records I brought back from these trips. We already did. We already did! Do we just need to leave the music running for longer? Yeah, listen to the records again. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just go back to the parlor. We'll go back to New York and we'll just let it play, I guess. Scandalous! So what is it? I guess we just need to wait. Wait to enjoy some music. I'm very tempted to eat some more. I was trying to shove my... <laughs> I was trying to shove some food in my face, but... I didn't get a whole lot of food in my face, unfortunately. I still got about half... Ah, yes, perfect. I guess food should go in the mouth, but um, I tend to not have a whole lot of time to shove food in my mouth when streaming. You know, it's just kind of comes with the territory. Weird, right? She hasn't said anything else, right? I feel like we shouldn't be expected to listen to the entire song, but... <laughs> I feel sorry for this ghost. Like, her husband died. 
she retreated to drugs, opioids, really. No idea. I know they said name. I don't know if that's actually a real drug or not. But poor lady, she got so addicted to it that she just couldn't live without it. And her maid and what I think was the doctor. They were trying to wean her off of it. Just try to keep her, make her quit. But instead she... I think she died in bed. Okay, well the song ended. Okay, well... Three old Vint Minis dancers. Oh wait, do we have to play them in order? Maybe we have to play them in order. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, we'll go back upstairs. And take a look at the dates. So back to the bedroom. And I'm just gonna grab a pen to write stuff down so I don't have to rely on my memory because my memory is garbage. Okay, Paris. So, Paris, April 1926, New York, I missed the New York one. Oh, whoops. Vienna was April 1926. Okay, New York was 1925. Okay, February 1923 was Paris. Okay, and then that was Vienna, 26. Okay. Now that we know the actual order... Never would have known that Prigia Okara was Paris, except by process of elimination. Yay! Alright, so Paris first. And then it was New York. Okay. And then Vienna. Okay. What is this? Bond song so grating. What on earth was that? Yay, we did it. <laughs> we solved the puzzle. The record must be warped. That was it, surely. But I feel strangely lightheaded. Are we gonna go to bed? Yep, going to bed again. Can we go to the foyer? No, okay. Did I say voyeur? I meant foyer. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, first try. First try. Whoops. I guess I said hallway, not bedroom. She doesn't have as light of a step anymore. I 
And she's not a ghosty yet. I was trying to check her in the carpet. Uh oh. Uh oh, I bugged it. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Bedroom! <sighs> okay, it's like slightly reality where the cloth is draped. My harp! Who did this? Is she actually gonna take it off? The shadow, it's... It's wrong. Alright, back to being ghost. It's slipping through my fingers. It's gone. But maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. Here's always music tomorrow. You won't wake up tomorrow. Oh, she's even more transparent now. show you real mama. I promise. These hands were never meant for this. Useless. No. No light. Was it raining tomorrow? It's empty. We can try going downstairs, but all the broken pieces. Did Lord Socks do this? Fragments of the base. Fragments of a vase that the may knock it over while cleaning. Uh not exactly. I don't need them anymore. My mess is downstairs. Except, I'm pretty sure it's empty. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't think she'll find it. On and on until the world has drowned. You inbred bastard. Hmm. And she's just limping along now. There's not a medicine left. If medicine is really what you want to call it. There's be flowers here. The whispers are quiet now. Something's missing. Only ash. This is not the fire I seek. Shreds. Something they used to be a painting. There's nothing left. Ah, oh, it's still here. <sighs> the envelope is still grey. Where did this come from? It's a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He's a friend of Henry's if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? Oh no, a dream holding your hand. Yes, a man could dream. I hope to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real, or did somebody put opium tinticure in my morning tea? Ma'am, that is what you've been drinking. This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. 
I must find the housemaid. Provided this is some lark of hers, she should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Oh, boy. What happened here? Why is nobody taking care of this mess? Okay, I don't really want to read the books again. Okay, yeah, we are just... We are not reading that. We are ignoring the painting. I don't really feel like listening to music right now. That's fine. Pokers? One of the pokers is missing. Hmm. Well, at least she noticed that. It doesn't look like the maid is here. <gasps> oh, it's her. This is this a spooky game? Um, it was listed. It was listed under the horror tag. I think it's more depressing than spooky, to be honest. This seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it. Oh, we can't even acknowledge her here. It's chilly here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's the issue of Paris that featured our wedding. And we made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the something Julie Empire. Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoise to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chantham something. And the move seen as uncharistic for the socialite whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dolk or Fernand Leisure are quite well known. <laughs> she declared her intention to move the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterbourne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love. And that moving to the calm of the countryside would be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. <laughs> so many big words. Uh, there are definitely some. It's mostly names. And yes, it's... It's a Victorian sad drama. It's the vibe. Umbrella stand. My umbrella stand is here, but Henry's is missing. He must have taken it with him. I'm not dressed to go outside. To the conservatory, then. Oh, I do wish to read that article just once more. Why? We. <laughs> I could read this over and over. Is it gonna be about his death? Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the jewelry empire. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mademoiselle Valerie Bio 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 voices. <laughs> the Henry Winterborn. Yes, yes. Socialite. Blah blah blah. Uh, leaving the glamour of Paris for Britain's green pastures. Marriage of love. Frantic activity. She loves it here so much. Okay. Oh my gosh, ma'am. <laughs> Why are we reading it? Yes, yes, yes. Friendships, green pastures, marriage of love, ranked up activity. Why? Why are we reading it so many times? I keep expecting it to change until like, oh, and then he died in a very tragic death. Okay, well... 
That is not happening. Okay, I guess we're... What do you mean you don't have anything to do upstairs? I thought we were going to get dressed to go outside. Okay, is there a key for the clock then? Okay. Yeah, we need a key. What are we missing? Are they still the same flowers from yesterday? Ma'am, they haven't changed for years. Victorian classic madam reading, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay. It's chilly here. Yes, it's chilly here. The umbrella stand. Can we wind the clock at all? Oh, was that the key? Let's see if this works. Ugh. Oh, it is too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. Three o'clock it is, then. It is stuck at three o'clock. I have the key now, but I'm not tall enough to wind it. I guess this shall have to stay this way. Well, maybe we can wind the other one. Maybe, maybe. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Nanny! Perfect! I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Oh, jeez. Was there... Was there a time mentioned? Should we just say three o'clock? Well, it'd have to be in the afternoon, right? Oh well, we'll try 3 a.m. I guess. <laughs> hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. Was there anything with another time? I guess we'll try... Okay, we'll try 1500. Okay, that didn't work. Um, was there anything else with the time on it? I don't recall anything. Okay, tritium clocks. All oh, right, it said like seven minutes off. It didn't really say if it was before or behind. Let's see the ones embedded in bus, like precision. Oh, average delay. Okay. So in that case, we're going to set it to 1453. We'll see if that works. Hey, it's working again. Mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? Perfect. Alright, let's see how she deals with this. The clock is working again, just like... I, I'm not sure now. When was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Socks rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now, about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. Clock. The clock is working now. Just like that day. Oh, I already know it by heart. Thank you. I'm so glad we don't have to read that again. I would love to spend time in here. This baby ivy will soon start climbing the wall. 
I'm looking forward to seeing how all these plants died. <laughs> Poor plants. So many times I've sat on this bench and just let my mind wander as she is sitting there crying. Incredible. I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorum. Gosh, the art style of this reminds me so very, very much of... Um, shoot, what's it called? It's a game I like quite a lot. It's a dungeon crawler. It's about a family. What is it? I could look on Steam really quick. Shoot, what is that one? Yes, Children of Morta. Thank you, Flo. Yes, exactly. Like, the art is just so very, very similar. Like, especially the characters. Oh, and then crying into these. Look up. Did I see something move there? You still have to finish the game. It's a good game. No, not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. Um, I played through Children of Mortar with my brother, and it was it was fantastic. Camellias are so delicate, with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Oh no, the game was crashing on you. Oh, that sucks so much. I wonder why that was happening. I don't think we had any crashes. These areas look lovely today. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. To be fair, your PC wasn't good. Try again! If, if you got a PC upgrade, try again. No, not here, but close. Don't let us find the cat skeleton. Don't let us find a cat corpse. I don't want to find a cat corpse. I must remind myself to ask the gardener to trim this a bit. Tea table and chairs. Hmm, must have been my imagination. The water looks so serene. As she's just crying into it again. Shrubbery. The foliage is so thick a tiger could hide here. What? Shouting and then running over here? There's nothing I can click on over here that we didn't already. I'm worried about the cat, guys. I was really hoping that that the maid just took her. Or took him. Installing maybe one day we'll finish it. You're surprised with the number of updates I had. It's a good game. So many times I just sat on this bench and let my mind walk let my mind wander. Yep. Well, shoot. What are we missing? We looked at the pond, at the flower pots. The ivy we looked at. She said we were getting closer over here. Shoot, I just... Possibly the best spot in the house. Oh, okay. She's sobbing. Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did very often back in Paris. 
That sounds nice. I'm bad at getting up early though. Don't, don't let there be a cat back here. Okay, seriously, what are we missing? <laughs> It really feels like we should be able to find something around here, but I'm just... Just nothing. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I feel... I don't know. And then she's just crying into these plants some more. No, not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves somewhere. Yeah? Wait, are we trying to like recreate the order of events? Is that what we're doing? So maybe to the shrubbery? Over there. Okay. There was something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur. A chase. The clinking sound of porcelain. Okay, and then... And then these bushes? No. Was it then the tea table? Yes! Here, a scream of pain. Red streaks. The knuckles white like snow. And so cold. So cold. And then... It must have been my imagination. And the bench? No. No, maybe it was the water. It was probably the water next. The water looks so serene. Hmm. Okay, so she went. I think she tried to catch the cat is what that was. And then what? I think the pond and the bench were the only two left though, right? Because she was chasing the cat. She chased it over to the tables. At least we think it was the cat. And then she caught them. And then she said something about like blood. And then, I feel like she probably would've washed her arms off after that, right? Sitting on the bench and letting her mind just wander. Okay. I don't know, we're missing something. What is it? Flowers, the camellias. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything else over here. Definitely more memories. But then what? What are we missing? Because we've got the bench in the pond. And that's kind of it. What if we go back to the foyer? Okay, so she was crying into the plants. Yep, she saw something move there. No, not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves, yes. And then that was in the shrubbery. And then there was a chase. There is something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur, a chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. Yeah. And then it was the tea table and chairs. As I think she tried to catch the cat. Here, a scrim of pain and red streaks. The knuckles white like snow. And very, very cold hands. And then probably the pond, right? Oh dear. No. The water is no longer screaming. Where is the sadness coming from? And the bench is the last place. It is stronger here. What is the sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But their sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water, I could have sworn I felt. Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. I'm not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Or I can go get another poker. Uh, yeah, probably get poker, right? I feel like that's just the most logical thing to go grab. These are quite dirty. I do not want to end up covered in soot either. What are we gonna grab? Maybe I can find something else. What? Flowers, a lamp, a chair, table, record player. I don't think the record player is gonna have what we're looking for here. If only I can make it stop looking at me. Yeah, not the music. Display cabinet is definitely not it. Not the bookshelf. Table. Maybe first floor? I will not find anything up there to help me drag that thing out of the water. Is it going to be in the conservatory then? I'm surprised we're not using the pokers again. Oh! Umbrella sand. Perfect. Kind of looks like she's on her way to murder somebody with that. <gasps> oh, 
No, it is. It is the cat. No. What happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help. I, I must find help. And yes, ladylike murder walk. No. The cat never deserved this. The kitty cat's even the same coloration as mine. As my baby girl. And she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. There has to be something in here. There has to be. Ah, uh, it was the different newspaper. Hello? Can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? You've been mad, ma'am. But this is not the... Perissois. This is the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne, a uh, Shedham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. Uh, as the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway at the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No. No, no. Henry? Dead? This is absurd. He's he's here. He's, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's, that's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll, he'll know. I need to see him. I, I need to see him now. Ah, oh, we can't go back into the conservatory. Boop, 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 boop. Lady like murder walk again. <laughs> Looks scary with googly eyes. Let's hope so. Leith, goddess of forgetfulness and oblivion. Ooh, they changed. The plaque says Pan, lord of all which is primal and untamed. Is that the sound of a car in the distance? The plaque says Hypnos, God of Sleep and Silence. This is not Henry's study. He's in his study. I have to see him now. Not, not here. He's not here. He's, he's in his study. Mama? Papa? He was always so proud of me. So proud. So far away. And the shards aren't even there. Henry? Are you there, Henry? H Henry? What have they done to you? Why do they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. She killed the cat. <gasps> and I had such, such dreams, such dreams. Terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I 
I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to, to Paris, my love. I'll be right back. I can't believe she killed the cat. Oh dang, all the... I want to save anybody anyway. And this seems so far away now, flickering like a roll of film. Not this glass. Downstairs. Just want to you have understood. You would have forgiven. Mom. Dad. I am barely here anymore. She is quite literally fading away. No more sleep. No more dreaming. I can make a stop now. A swirling, yawning void. A cold, watery grave. A roaring, primal scream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Medicine's not here. Another one of those awful letters. No, it's an invitation to a mass ball. How delightful! Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be! This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. Is it a cat? I think it's a cat. And there she was. Dead on the floor. She probably overdosed. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here. Yet I can't seem to find him. Yeah, I think it is a cat. I think he must be here. Who else could, who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting. I've been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you are? Apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I am a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train, or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I, we, should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would believe me even if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Is she deaf? Please, sir. I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning then. I'm sorry, the two guys are going to sound basically the same. I'd been working late into the night. The Nameless Ritual. And through this incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. 
This tells us that the patient likely suffered from... Dr. Samuels. Gallstones. Assistadenoma. Or alcoholism. Yay, alcohol. <laughs> Looks like I'm just checking our... How's our time going? Okay. Hmm. Alcoholism. <laughs> Yay, alcoholism! Woo! Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me, Dr. Hayward. Yes, Mr. Lowell. Why are you talking to the Janet? <gasps> now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you were saying... Alcoholism. Yes, from this first glance, we can infer that... He doesn't look like a doctor to me. Shut up. More like a hoodlum. Keep an eye on the scapples, Dr. Hayward. We don't want him to stick us up. Yeah, he can rob us blind and disappear in the shadows. Gosh, you guys are little dicks. Just all racist dicks. I bet he's stealing material from the infirmary. <laughs> How much alcoholism will be enough? I don't know. Yeah, to sell to whatever criminal element he's in cahoots with. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Some supplies have in fact gone missing lately. See, I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. Oh, jeez. Nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fat thing, I have felt my will slipping further and further. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Okay, this is definitely like a summoning ritual. Those buffoons. Soon they will know what I am really capable of. Planetary Correspondencies by H. Solomon. Herb Jars. Wound Man. Astral Charts. Iron Bowl. Lead Bowl. Copper Bowl. I kind of like that the copper bowl screen. Jacket, bed, a window, mirror. Mm, a thumb. The fiery summons by H. Zitkova. Guy wants to summon what? A demon, a leviathan from the deep, a durian that talks. I kind of want to see a durian that talks. The neighbors again. Always the same, fighting and screaming. I have no idea what they're saying. The stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth, and teeth clenched. After months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. See, I thought he was a summon. Wound man. The wound man, an ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some particularly interesting notes. The sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury, Mercury is the hand in the darkness. Mars wields the sword. Jupiter hungers for power and casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. <laughs> I will need this later. 
I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting Saturn's genitals to get tossed into the sea. <laughs> Imagine a fruit that screams if you try to eat it. That'd be terrifying. Especially if it's a very stinky fruit. Okay, well, it is time for our break. <laughs> we don't need Saturn's genitals for the ritual. Hear me how gentlemen. <laughs> Those racist blowhards will rule the day. <laughs> Okay, anyway, and with that, we're going to have our three-minute break. <laughs> so get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do, and I will see you guys again in three minutes. Right, lads now here's the real question are saturn's genitals its rings or its moons or is it something else that is the question what do we need to get for the ritual here okay Hello, good sir. We're going to look at your herb jars now. These are the ingredients I require for the first part of the ritual. 
I need to burn the appropriate herb in each bowl. But before I get started, I should bring Mr. Williams his morphine. Mmm, morphine. It's probably in my jacket pocket. Nothing like highly addicting drugs. Woo! I know people get addicted to morphine. Planetary Correspondencies by H. Solomon. This is the most complete treaty I have found on the esoteric use of herbs and plants. This is the passage I need. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. The visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Saturn's blessing. I think I have him memorized now. Are we going to have to write that down? We might have to write that down. Astral chart. The stars are right. Yes. Yes. The moment beyond the veil. It is a lower magical process to make the guardian of the threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture of a number of substances. A truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician and he will need all the presence of mind and faith in the security of his path. Seek not, then, to cross this threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. And only then, only then perform the ritual scribbles. I sometimes hear them talking of terrible places in my sleep. I try to write down as much as I can when I wake up. But there's so much I am missing. It was them. A chapel in the wilderness. Fire among the moaning trees. Mmm, moaning trees. A theater. A dripping blade. The hateful whispers of the dead. A sunken library where the memories are drowned and voices from the past echo in the darkness. What does it all mean? I sometimes... Okay. Okay, okay. We're not reading that again. Iron bowl. An iron bowl covered in red breast. A bowl of black lead. A copper bowl. Green from cor corrosion. Uh, it's actually just oxidation, but okay. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart? Well, I have nothing to lose anyway. There's always something to lose, even if you don't think there is. All right, time to get that morphine. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. Oh dang, did he actually steal it then? But his ter tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. That sucks. That sucks. There's a spot in my heart that's becoming a part of my New York. <sighs> I truly thought things would be different here. Let's see. Thumb. My ritual dagger. I will need it later. The fiery summons. <sighs> Hmm, Zikova's Forbidden Opus in six volumes. 
This is the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. Violet mantles shall devour Mercury. Did we read this one yet? Cast thee the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald. And engulf the crimson all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno for Jupiter. A black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorized now. Okay, that one's... Okay. Well, I hope he sure knows what he's doing. So what this guy was talking about with the with the whole New York stuff reminds me of another famous painting where it was by a black painter and it was a self-portrait of him painting a portrait of his wife and kid. And it is titled The Janitor. And it's one of those where it's like, even though he sees himself as a painter, the world still sees him as a janitor, like as this lower, this lower class, just because he's black. But anyway, Yay, art history! <laughs> Honestly, probably one of my favorite classes. I actually really did enjoy that one. Even though it was a lot of essays. But, you know what? Those essays weren't as bad as most I had to write. Because it was like, okay, this is actually about a subject that's kind of interesting. And not just like, here, you're writing an essay to prove that you can write an essay. The Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days, it will end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Ah, uh, some things never really change, even here. God, I love abusive couples. Good evening, Mrs. Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried. I was worried you wouldn't come here. I apologize. I got held up at the hospital today. How's he doing? Not good. Not good, doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. And that cough, it ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's... I am so sorry, Mrs. Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era. Consumption is a battle we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain, at least. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Mrs. Williams. It is my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. Street exit? These streets lead up onto the street. These stairs lead up onto the street. I have nothing to do out there. The ritual awaits. Okay, time to summon a demon. Oh boy! This can only go well. Okay. How are we starting this? Okay, courage stuff. Iron bowl covered in red rust. Okay, herb jars. Alright, I can begin the final preparations now. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay, heliotrope. I'm just starting at the top, I guess. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Okay, we actually have to perform the ritual. 
Okay, planetary correspondences. Yes, you need to put in the bowls, but I don't remember which bowl. Oh, it's gonna be the wrong one. Or I guess correctly? Is he gonna tell me if I got it wrong? The fiery summons, Pat memorized it, the sun burns a golden flames, violet mantle shall devour mercury. I see the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald and engulf in crimson all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno for Jupiter, a black grave for Saturn. Oh jeez. Sun shines on the heliotrope, Mercury smells. Okay. Sun shines on the heliotrope. Okay, Wormwood, Mars, Venus is Rose. Sage's Wisdom of Jupiter, Hemlock is Saturn's. Oh gosh, okay. Let's just hope he doesn't let us screw this up. Okay, I think we did Heliotrope already. So then, Hisop. And we can't look it up. Uh, Iron, maybe? Hugh Janice, welcome, welcome. It has been a while. Oh, gosh. He is... He's just doing it okay. Oh, my gosh. We are definitely doing this wrong. Okay. Okay, sunshine's on heliotrope. Fresh hyssop. Wormwood, rose, sage, hemlock. Okay, ritual dagger, we don't need it yet. Okay, sun burns a golden flames, fire mantle to fire mercury, symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald. And then in crimson, it belongs to Mars. So Venus and emerald, crimson, Mars. Azure Inferno. Okay, black. Black for Saturn. Okay, what was Saturn? Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. Okay, Hemlock. Okay. Hemlock. Please tell me that works. Uh, this game is about people making bad decisions and dying as a result, and then ending up on a train in Denmark. Okay. Not just nothing by itself without a strong man to make use of it. Yes. Okay. I think we should write this down. Because once I grab this stuff, I can't look at it again. I actually peeled some skin off my thumb again, and now it's bleeding. It's being a little pain, it won't stop. Okay. So... So, Hemlock, Saturn, and that is black, right? So then we need red and green. And we will double check, but... Okay, sunburns, golden flames, violet, no. Okay, Venus, emerald. Venus, Venus, Venus. Okay, Mars is red. Okay, that makes sense. And then black for Saturn. Okay. Okay, we need Mars and Venus. So Wormwood, Mars, Rose, Venus. Rose and Wormwood. And then, 
pretty sure Saturn was still Hemlock. Let's just double check. I think it was at the very end. Yes, Hemlock. Okay, so let's do with Hemlock again. Hemlock, Saturn, that one is black. He very clearly said it was a black lead bowl. And then for Mars, we need Wormwood. And that one is red. Our rust iron red. And then for our Venus, we need rose. Okay. Okay, the elements are lined! Excellent. And I must mark my skin with blood. One small cut in each spot shall suffice. Um... It is time. Okay, now he is going over to the chart. To the wound man! I must now wound myself three times. The sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury is the hand in the darkness. Mars wields the sword. Jupiter hungers for pattern, for power, and casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. <sighs> okay, so we are looking for Saturn, Mars, and Venus again, right? Okay, so heart... Okay, Mars wields the sword. We don't have Saturn. Oh wait, we do have Saturn. Okay, well Venus is the heart, right? And Mars said it was wielding the sword, so... What are we supposed to do about that one? Okay, Sun rules the intellect, Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury's Mercury is the hand in the darkness, Mars wields the sword to move the hand. Okay, and I guess Siren's Chandles, that's that's a mistake, man. That one's gonna that one's a big mistake. Um I know he's a doctor, but you know, you, you kind of also bleed a lot from that. All right, I'm going to guess hand from Mars. Genitalia. <laughs> okay. Given that he's holding that he's holding it in his left hand. I'm going to guess a left hand. So left hand, chest, and groin. No, my hand is hesitating. This doesn't feel right. I'm going to start again. Okay, well, I guess that's why we're doing that one first. Okay, so right hand chest for the heart and then groin which is just such a mistake yes that was it it is time to enter the circle oh boy <laughs> This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him? So be it then. 
Our dentist Fortuna Ufat? Oh, hello. Where am I? This is really the other side. And that, that must be the guardian. Long last. I must remain calm and focused. I've prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. The wound man. Oh, there are notes. Scribbles. These look like notes. Is this my handwriting? How can this be? I do not remember ever writing this. I have given my memories away to the waters. I barely remember who I am. My soul is a scorched blackened stump. All my acts of kindness undone. I do not know what they will demand of my body. I fear this has all been for nothing. But I cannot turn back now. God help me, if he still remembers my name. Strange. The moment has come. O oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way, I face thee without fear. Uh, did he just vomit? Soil, bitter, blood, void, price. Putrid, rotten, price, price, taken, scorn, price. Failed, trapped, flesh, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. I think our man isn't unworthy. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek knowledge. I seek healing. Or I seek revenge. I mean, revenge is definitely what he came here for. Should we let him get revenge or should we go for like knowledge instead? I don't really want to do healing. I mean, we could. I mean, it kind of sounds like his. Actually, you know what? How about we do healing? Let's see if his brain can get healed. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, all three are good, but... It definitely sounded like he was coming here for revenge, though. I seek revenge! No amount of alcoholism can fix this. Teach me thy lessons of wrath, that I might humiliate my enemies. Blood, scorn, empty, void, spill, price. Adversary, flesh, sacrifice, blood, blade, blood. I... I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly, and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the Guardian. What am I meant to do now? Where am I? What is this place? Why is the Guardian not here? Who art thou then? Speak thy name. vomits again on his shoes. <gasps> Once ever Jordan trapped always doctor together. 
once trapped, gone was Scapel, but of both wrath Samuel's we. Trapped, both trapped, punish, punish ever, flesh. Madness, I am Jordan Samuels, me, vile creature, trickster. And then it laughs. <laughs> I don't think it's very pleased with him. <laughs> and then Vom's on shoes again. <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? Why is the guardian not here? Yeah, where am I? What is this place? Where did you actually end up? Present other same cross route. Yesterday. Together. All converge. Time. Tomorrow. Posit. Possibilities. Both. Barely makes sense of this gibberish. A crossroad? Yes, yeah, a crossroad. Is that what this place is? Some sort of limbo. Why is the guardian not here? Oh, I carried out every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Sacrifice all. Oh. Burn, erase the price. Tr tribute, mind, purpose, flesh, sacrifice, soul. Not one, not only one, one failure. This makes no sense. None of the text I read mentioned something like this. Okay, well, I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. I'm not getting answers here. I need to try to make sense of all this. Okay. There's the bed. A window. The light is sickening. Almost like this is your room, buddy. Oh. Okay. Well, clicking on the mirror once made it crack. A lamp? There's a passage in the book. Illuminate the darkness ahead of thee. Take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. Okay. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will no longer be available to thee. Yet the light seems to be keeping him alive. Taking it away might kill him. But it is my craving for revenge that has brought me here. The fire is mine. It belongs to me. Nothing shall stand in my way. Not even myself. It shall not waver. I shall not fail. A warning, but I shall not fail. Looks like there's no going back through here. Well, the door should be over here, right? Oh, yep. Yeah. To the corridor. Apartment B2, the Johnsons. Something terrible happened here. We're just gonna pass right by that. And then sickness coming out of the first one. Mrs. Williams, is that you? Are you alright? You monster! You killed him! You monster! 
I cannot let this get to me. It is a test. Just a test. I did what I had to. Dear Lord, is it alive? Mmm, cancer. Well, an ulcer. I don't think tuberculosis is actually cancer. The stairs, they no longer go up the street, but downwards. Here we go. We got no choice. Mmm, down into the muck. The dark, dick muck. I can't see anything ahead. It looks like a dead end. But it has to be this way. There's nowhere else to go. Mmm. <sighs> books. There are books and loose pages floating in the water. Where could they have come from? Your room? Probably, if I had to guess. Was there anything else up there? More books. Alright, I guess we just keep going forward. And on we trudge. Through the muck and grime and drips going upwards. That's always fun. I've seen this place before. In dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors, trying to find something. But I cannot remember what or why. Most of these books are moldy and rotten, but some of them are in surprisingly good condition. More books. Arzamandi, Song of Songs, Kama Sutra, The Spirit and the Flesh. Always inextricably intertwined. Romance novels, love stories, bundles of letters. This whole section is a monument to the depths of the human heart. These seem to be relatively recent. I recognize some of Miss Austen's work. Works. There's barely anything left in these shelves. I can only make out some tomes on Baroque and classical music, and some titles in Arabic. Arabic, my bad. Okay. Uh, we are going to do the age-old thing of follow the right wall. Handbound volumes upon volumes of sheet music. Most of them are too moldy to make anything out. Whole section seems to contain only military treaties and history books. We can't go through here, can we? Yeah, I don't think so. They are all about the Great War. Diaries, maps, field reports. Saint Mihail, I was never there. But I know some men who were. Moose are gone. I was so close to some of those places. There are a bunch of dog tags scattered around on the shelf. They are covered in a thick layer of dust. These are all about the Great War. Okay. We'll make our way through. It'll just take a little while. Gotta trudge through all this muck. Ugh. Honestly, this right here would be one of my worst nightmares. Oh, hello. Just having to... Just waste deep in sewage. Muck. Just vile things. This place feels old beyond words. Another creature? 
It is not acknowledging me. Does it not know I'm here? Or does it simply not care? It probably doesn't care. Should I try making my presence known? Uh, we'll talk to the librarian soon. Okay, well, it looks like the passage does kind of go on. Well, actually, no, I think it does end. Children's books, bedtime stories, fables, and fairy tales. Some photographs covered in dust, a rattle, a pacifier. How did this end up here? How did any of this end up here? Photo albums read in the books. They, there are some framed photographs laying around too. They all feature babies and young infants. Children's folk stories. I, I recognize some of these titles. Tales of Anasi. The Adventures of Rare Rabbits. All the Pretty Little Horses. I'm sorry, Briar Rabbit is what it was, not Briar Rabbit or whatever I said. Okay, hello, librarian. Here! My name is Jordan Samuels. I have walked these aisles in dreams. Art thou the keeper of this place? And no response. It is paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. Wow, really? It seems to be something else. I can look at the scroll. What is it writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born April 27th, 1897. A memory of Dr. Samuels, field medic. A memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. A memory of that darky down the street. A memory of Mr. Samuels, music aficionado. That is me. That is my life. Fiance, huh? Who who was he who was he betrothed to? He seems to be listening to something. Was it right? Okay. Oh no, I didn't want to talk to it again. Um Let's see what else is around here then. Oh, music? Sounds like there's music coming this way. Kind of. I guess not quite. Maybe up here? These shelves are full of diaries. Many of them are still secured with small metal locks. Whispers. They seem to be coming from this corridor. Humidity and mold have damaged them beyond recognition. These have been drafts of stories. Last wills. Confessions, maybe? Stacks and stacks of loose pages. Most of them handwritten. Some are typed. The whispers are coming from this book. There's a note inside. Not any note. That note. That fiercely scribbled threat slipped into my mailbox one night. Always the stairs, the murmurs uttered under their breath. Or the jeers and the scoffs, if they felt courageous enough. I can feel my blood boil just looking at it. Is this what it wants? To remind me why I am doing this? To strengthen my resolve? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. Back to the librarian. All right, Mr. Jordan. And yeah, now the whispers are just with us. 
wants the book. He will give it the book. And it ate the book. Hmm. What am I doing here? Was I not? I was holding. Was I carrying something? Or perhaps it was like that dream. It looks so much like this place. And was this creature there too? What does it want? Should I try talking to it? Is he losing his memory too? He is paying me no attention whatsoever. Looks like he's trying to hear something else. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was there something missing? I feel like there's something missing. Okay, we'll try going the other way. Let's see if we can find another whispery book. Did he once have a child? It is growing louder. How could there possibly be a child in this place? Let's see... The shelf? Yes, it's coming from inside this photo album. This, this is my family. Grandparents, father, aunts, mother. So this baby she's holding must be... Me. But I've never seen this photograph before. What's it doing here? I should bring this book back to that creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. Congratulations, you are now an assistant librarian. <laughs> Just going and fetching books. It wants the book? Of course it wants the book. What am I doing here? Was I not? I, I was holding. Was I carrying something? Or perhaps it was that dream. It looks so much like this place, sir. You are repeating dialogue. No attention. Hearing something else. Let's see. Oh, it's getting shorter. A memory of Dr. Samuel's field medic. A memory of Jordan. A loving betrothed. A memory of Mr. Samuel's music aficionado. So is it going to be music this time? It'll probably be this corridor, right? No, this is back into the whispery one. That's not going to be it. We'll be over here? Oh, I hear something. Who is that? It sounds more and more familiar the closer I get. It's coming from this book. There is a letter inside. This envelope, this handwriting. I don't even need to open it. I am sorry, Eunice. You deserve so much more. But New York felt like the place I needed to be after the war. I was so wrong. I wish I could undo all the pain I caused you. Did the creature want me to find this? Is it trying to tell me something? I guess there's only one way to know. I'm guessing there's probably two more books? Or maybe just one. No, no, I'm thinking two. One for the field medic and one for the art or music lover. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh yeah, I guess short each time. Memory of Dr. Samuel's field medic. Dr. Samuel's music aficionado. And the rest is missing. Um, okay, well the war ones, they were... 
down and to the right, but we are hearing the music already. There must be a gramophone hidden somewhere. Not quite. Is it this one? Yep. The sheet music for Fritz Kelsier's Liebenzeln. Of course it is. The day I received the acceptance letter from the Chicago College of Medicine and Surgery. I borrowed a tuxedo, spent too much money on a fancy concert, drank too much wine afterwards. <laughs> it did seem back then like I was destined for great things. But why this? Why now? Why am I even here to start with? Maybe if I take this book back to that creature, I will get some answers. No, it's just gonna eat it again. You're gonna lose even more and more of yourself. It wants the book. It always wants the book. And all that remains is you as a field medic. What am I doing here? One more book. One more book. And then your life will have been erased. To the shelf of dog tags. Sounds as if the battle was taking place right here. But I see nothing but books. It's coming from this book here. A map. Schultz. France. September 1918. They called us the Harlem Hellfighters. We took that village while bombs rained on us like fire from the sky. But we took so many casualties that we were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me who I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wanted me to find it. I should bring it back and see what it wants. Alright. The final book. After he finishes delivering his entire life. Everything he was. Everything he is. All the memories other people have of him. All the memories he has of himself. And there it goes. Dragged into the deep. Back onto the battlefield. Is that a camel? Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. Who... Who am I? I need a drink, sorry guys. Okay, my say horse, but that looks like a camel to me. Dear Lord, what happened here? A crater and a dead soldier's remains. Did a battle take place here? Yeah? Oh boy, another body. A soldier's corpse. Uh, what looks like a Canadian flag. Where have I seen this banner before? It looks so familiar. Looks like a makeshift infirmary. I am somehow familiar with these kits. The bell tower has been blown to smithereens. This place must have sustained a terrible bombing. Bloody sheets of what seems to be corpses. There must be an improvised field hospital. There is some dirty rainwater pooled up in the basin. 
Hello, sir. Another stretcher. Confession is still standing. How is this possible? Reverend Williams. Dr. Samuels, welcome to the Chapel Paradise. I have been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have. What did you call me? It's alright. I know what you've done. It's all gone now. Your name... But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me once. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of Devandi into your hands. And gave him morphine. And acted with the certainty of a thunderbolt. Life and death laid bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. But this soul of yours, this kindness, you need it for another purpose. This fire must be wielded again. The Guardian? Ah, you still remember. Yes, the Guardian. Like the texts say. I must become a perfect and glorious being, or fall a prey to corruption. And should this occur, I would drag thee also down with me into a dark and corrupt world. And you do also remember what brought you here, don't you? Ah, yes, I came here seeking revenge. Yes. And yet, it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dead of the strength needed to take full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Years, many years ago, you did not take full responsi responsibility for your thoughts and actions. This has been a burden. Today you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. You abandoned these men. You left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then. You didn't know better. Now is the time to rectify that. Free them, Dr. Samuels, like you freed me, and I will hear your confession once your dues are paid. And then he nopes out of existence, okay. Well, let's get a medkit. No? The gauze bandage is covering his eyes. Good lord, his hands! Only an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is... I... Uh, I am a doctor. Doctor... <coughs> doctor, doctor, not here. Left. He left. Not here. He has been blinded by shrapnel. He's holding onto a pillow. What is your name, soldier? Sleep. If I could just sleep. Doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back. Help me sleep. But he left. He left. He's been blinded by shrapnel. His hands have been completely blown off. Have been blown off almost completely. And he's delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours or days if he is unfortunate. He's holding onto a pillow. He's holding onto a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. The pain must be unbearable. 
Can I please go get a med kit now? There might be something useful here. A jar of some opium pills. Eight, maybe ten. They must have been here for a very long time. Opium in a tablet form is not very common anymore. If that is the case, they may have probably lost a great deal of their potency. I will need to use all of them if I want to. Why do I remember all this? Okay, um, it is time for another three minute break. So we are going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, three minutes, get up, get a drink, stretch, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do. And I will see you guys again in three minutes. I need water. <laughs> Hey, well, we're back. We resume. Okay, we've a lot of morphine pills now. Well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. So I've been told, but I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? Oh, I do know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you. I've been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow all my freaking brains. 
and you just walk away every time. You walk away saying you will help me, and you never look back. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fella, ain't he? He remembers everything over and over. He just wants to sleep, the poor guy. But he can't forget you either. And Jim? Seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one. Only moans sometimes when he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure that in blackness of its of his there, a name echoing again and again. His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. He's waving a gun around. Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. Wouldn't you like for me to do that? Again? Not a chance, doctor. Give me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. What is your name? Name's Luke, Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Luke, I... Say, Doc, what do you think would get me first? The gangrene or the infection? Ha, just kidding, I already know. It's happened so many times. Always the same way. Not going to be any different now, is it? <laughs> okay. Can we find a bullet? Bloodied white sheet is covering a body. What's that? Looks like a flask. Flask? Canteen? An empty canteen. Half his jaw has been shot off. Half his jaw has been shot off. He's alive somehow, but barely conscious. He will not be able to swallow these pills in his condition. Do we have enough pills? He's also bleeding from his stomach, but this is not a good shot. He must have tripped when he was shot and fallen on a piece of metal or a fence. I cannot even begin to imagine his agony. He's wearing an ammo belt. Maybe there's some ammunition left in it. But I will not take it and leave him like this. I need to find a way to help him first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've been told what I did, even though I cannot remember. But I will not walk away this time. Okay, so we got an ammo belt there. We can probably... We can probably give the pills to this guy. This will have to do. And we can get water in here for the other opium pills. Here, soldier. You can sleep now. I'm sorry for having kept you here so long. And he burns away into ashes and dust. Farewell. I hope the pain is finally over. He will no longer need this. Wait, why did we grab the pillow? Are we just... Are we going to suffocate him? Only ashes remain. I... I think we're going to suffocate the guy on the cot. 
It's time to go home, soldier. Gosh, this is such a horrible way to go. I can take these bullets now. You know, we probably could have just taken the bullets, let the other guy off himself, and then just shoot this guy instead of having to suffocate him with the pillow. I found what you wanted. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Thank you, Doctor. I never thought the day would come. Now you might want to step back a bit. I hope you found your peace at last. Only ashes now. To the confessional, I guess. It is done. I'm ready, Reverend. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I don't know. I I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief, guilt, horror, pride, anything. But the only thing I feel is empty, hollowed out. I'm so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not. You've done well. How? What does that mean? It doesn't matter now. You're almost there, Doctor. There is but one more trial ahead of you. And you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing. Not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? You need only remember this. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since, with every action, every decision, every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, You'll need to take it back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But fear not. You will understand soon enough. Now go. Oh jeez, they're all like zombies. Dr. Samuel, so glad you made it. The boys and I have been waiting for you. You must be so excited. Oh, to cross the threshold at last. You have given so much, so much. But let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. No, 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 no. Don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now, and you shall speak only through us. Now pay attention. I have given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor.
Dr. Hayward. Students. I have given. Nope. Useless! Useless again! I have given. What was the third one? It wasn't that guy. No. You are not listening again! I have given. I don't remember who spoke after that. I wasn't paying that close of attention. <gasps> Was that the one we clicked on last time? I have given my mind to the waters. Excellent. Peer back the first layer now. All right. Okay, that's that's great. We're just gonna be peeling your flesh open. Okay. I have consigned my soul to the flames. Repeat, Doctor. I have consigned. Nope. You disappoint me, Doctor. Okay, I, I know. I, I misclicked. Well, I misremembered. My soul to the flames. Good, good. Now the second layer. Take that scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it now. I definitely feel like we should have had a content warning on the stream. <laughs> I now surrender my flesh to the blade. Repeat, Doctor. I now surrender my flesh to the blade. blade. Excellent, excellent. Now, the retractor. Stretch the skin. Open the yawning gate. The hungry void awaits. Yes. Hmm. Now listen one last time. And I... offer... my blood... to the... Mirror. Hmm. Repeat, Doctor. Repeat. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Yes, yes, you know what to do. You know what to do. Open the threshold. Open the path to the guardian. Become the empty yawning void. <laughs> now assemble to the exit <laughs> with the guts out of our body. Oh, hey, he's wearing the mask. Look, it's us from the train. Finally. The hollow one. I was beginning to think it hadn't worked. It feels like I've been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then. Let us get this over with already. Exist no more now. Yes, yes, at last. Is this everything we are then? I should not cross without that invitation. 
Where did I? Where did we put our invitation? Ah, on our jackets. Where else would we put that? Time to get out of here. Goodbye, self. I remember nothing after that. <gasps> well, that's quite the story. The question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test? For me. For all of us. Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that is being put to the test is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, could I have a word? Uh, oh, look at her dress. Please excuse me if you will. As I was saying. Say, is it getting hot in here? It does feel like it. Alright, so we've got death and... Who's the dude? What? Are, are you done mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? Why not? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyway? Oh, I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten, by their own hand even. But we can't mingle, and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what did you mean by that? By what? By their own hand even? If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? <laughs> I don't know. They just told me. You heard. No, there's something else here. Don't... Don't tell me you invited them personally. Please, don't tell anybody. You gave them masks! You sent them invitations! You collected them! I... But you can't do this. They were meant for below. You know how strict the numbers are. Are you insane? They, these ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to make. I know, I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right, all right. Oh, I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below, just a little less deep for them. Eligible for redemption lottery every 144,000 years even. Maybe never. It's still a better chance than what they had up there. I love how his um, flames change color like Disney 80s. Please, I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla, you're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. <laughs> Cute. If on a winter's night, four travelers. I definitely think this one was much more of like an act interactive movie rather than a full-on game, but I definitely enjoyed it. Excellent music. I am very curious if this is by the same people who made, um... Gosh, you guys, Children of Morta, that's it. 
I'm very curious if it's the same because the art style is just so familiar. A death blow is a life blow to some who till they died and not alive become. Who had they lived had died but when they died vitality began. Or begun. Emily Dickinson. And thank you for playing. And thank you all for joining me. It's nice. Yeah, I like that one. I like how now it shows just all of their masks. Here, I can move you guys again so you can see it a little better. There we go. So we can see the doggo mask, our, our Lady Lilia, um, the cat mask, and it looks like he got a crown, which is interesting. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Mostly because of the art and it was just an excellent storytelling experience. Uh, anyway, that brings us to six and a half hours and I think we're probably gonna call it here for today. Uh, my voice is kind of killing me after going with so many different voices. So what I think we're gonna do is find somebody to raid. Alright. I have a feeling Sefi's going right now. Yes. Okay, well Sefi's doing Final Fantasy. You know what? I don't think I've rated Locke in a while. He's playing Liza P, which is a pretty fun one. So... I think we'll go ahead and raid Locke today. Um, I hope everybody's had a great time. I know I did. Um, I really love going through just these random indie games because I have no idea if they're going to be good or absolute hot garbage. I think all the ones we ended up with were pretty, pretty interesting today. Yeah. Okay, well let me set up the raid. Okay, there we go. And with that, I hope everybody has a great rest of their morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I hope to see you guys next time. Um, the next planned stream is going to be Friday. Uh, Friday at 12 p.m. PDT, 3 p.m. EDT, or 7 p.m. GMT. And that will be continuing Library of Rumina. Um, otherwise, we, we will see. We will see if I happen to just do another stream sometime, but I don't have anything planned. I, I think I might have other stuff that I have to get done tomorrow. So anyway, okay, bye.